That's my favorite Mountain Dew flavor. I was a uh, Voltage kind of guy. Remind me of Blue Icies. Oh, Blue Icies. What has right? happened? Or Cherry Coke. Mm. Did we are live? No, we're live. Are we? I open chat. I'm Looks live to me. It. Uh -huh. There we go. No, it's there. Yeah, there maybe go. just takes a second. There you go. Yeah, I had to refresh my page, but there we are. How's it going, everybody? Uh, top, do top of the morning. Top of the morning to you. Uh, welcome back to Gateway, episode twenty-two. Yes. Hi, how you doing? We missed you. Indeed, we're here. We've got car parts and dead robots noodles. and noodles and chicken. I have an apple. The San Francisco treat. It's really good show. I've got iced tea. But how's it going, everybody? Uh, hope you had a good week. Uh, hope you're enjoying the shows so far. Also, ha happy International Game Masters Day. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Am I supposed to get you a present? Do, uh, do you want? Hmm. Do you want a present? It's not a no. <laughs> do, do it's you, not a do no. You want a present? My my present is having you all here with me playing my game. That's Aww. that's that's the best present that I could ask for. Oh, that's nice. Do you want me to herald your arrival with a kazoo? The I most guess. darkest, brutal <laughs> gift of all. Okay, no hold on. Thing. <laughs> 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 we got you your favorite thing! Disappointment! It's me! Really, Here I am! It. It's <laughs> Connor! It's Thank him! You. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my uh, god, it's the weapon from the goblin, Gobtober. <laughs> 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 the trident. Oh, that's True. it! The trident! I couldn't remember if it was a sword or not. Oh my god! Ah! Ah! Actually, I think this was the trident. Was it? I thought that he was the murder sword. A, he definitely had a deep booming voice, the trident did. He did. He he was very heroic sounding, as I recall. Yes. Have you ever gotten a piece of beef stuck up in your gums and it feels like it's stabbing you? Oh my yes. god, I, yes. every time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, have, I have to Random? get like, dental floss every time. Yeah, right? Well, always... this was like up like at the very tip top inside of my lip not near my teeth like at the very top to where mm -hmm. it feels like it's just took a tiny toothpick sword and stabbed me in the gums yeah. i can't believe this the worst is when, i can't like, believe getting, this like, when you're jiggling it out of there with like the dental floss it always feels like you're taking part of your gums with you it's always yes so unnerving. Look, i don't the like to giveth. hurt my gums in such a way <laughs> the i have a toothpick and the beef taketh away Indeed. <laughs> and what they take away are my teeth and my gum health. Ow. And the Just... deadly disease, gingivitis. <laughs> gingivitis. Right. Uh, but uh, we should probably go ahead and get started with our intros. Let's get started with uh, Caitlin. Where can they find you? And what are you up to? Hello. My name is Caitlin Elizabeth. You can find me all over the internet at Boobs McBalrog. Here on Twitch, it's twitch.tv slash Boobs McBalrog with zeros instead of O's. Uh, I just started playing Ring Fit Adventure on my streams. Um, that is very difficult, and I have to put a timer on it because I did it for two hours straight, which was probably oh, no. dumb. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was probably too much. Um, Caitlin, can you, can you please... Can you please yeah. moderate so you don't kill yourself? Sarah, I am pedal to the metal forever. I can't. Please it's when really I'm dead, hard to do this. Ride or die. When, when I can't, like, you know. Yeah, haven't you seen her birth certificate? Birth certificate? It says 24-7, the thunder must roll. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sarah's like, I can't attack you because you're not downstairs anymore. <laughs> to be fair, you can't attack me anymore either. That's not true. 
don't tell her about the fireman's pole you have to go downstairs <laughs> very quickly. Roll to the page, Sarah. You Wait. think I'm not? You think I'm not broadcasting from downstairs? Uh, That's cute. Don't do that. I don't. <laughs> I don't have. I really seriously want to go look. No, I'm not there. You're Are there. you though? I'm gonna eat more. Cheese. Or is she? <laughs> She's like, I can't decide if I actually want you to be there or not. Oh, this is oh, this is gonna be a fun show for you. Oh man, it's gonna be so good. <laughs> On the break, she's gonna run down a bit there and be like, where are you? Where? We'll just start <laughs> knocking shit off his shelves. Like, I know you're in the bookshelf. Look, I have to check things sometimes. I have this is why I have to go back sometimes if I haven't turned the door handle and made sure it's locked. Oh Don't my, do this I, to me. I do the exact same thing. Uh Right. So, <laughs> uh, things that are happening right now. Uh, I'm still working on Tribe 9. You can catch that on Funimation, soon to be Crunchyroll, uh, every Monday. Um, we have several more episodes coming out. Please check that out. We have put a lot of love into that show. Um, on Mondays, we normally have a roll with me over on Lanny's channel. Um, that's twitch.tv slash Lanny Patour. Um, I have something else coming up this week but i don't know if i can say so i'm not going to exciting that's it for me all righty rabbit where can i find you and what are you up to What's going on? It's me, uh, funny internet he who man. Hey, Mr. Rabbit. You can find me on twitch.tv slash hey, Mr. Rabbit. Uh, I normally stream Monday through Fridays where I go ahead and I stream such genres as visual novel games and horror games and RPGs. And I also go ahead and play uh, retro games too. Um, what have I been up to this week? I've been really busy i've been on a bunch of other people's shows uh i have been working with my family through a bunch of family stuff and i have spent the past two weeks trying to write a song about uh about die hard dice but it's very hard to make a song about dice and it is really putting my creative writing muscles to the test um it's 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 just it's it's very hard to do it um <clears throat> other than that uh not a whole lot. Uh, I on uh, Mondays I do fan dubs at the evenings on uh, Twitch TV slash Colonel Cheru. On Tuesday I play games with you, Connor, on Twitch TV uh, Distortion Devil. Uh, on Fridays I do wrestling announcing on Twitch TV slash Edward Bosco. Uh, every other Saturday you can go ahead and check me uh, check me out as Alvin here on the Unexpectables. And um, there is going to be a one off next week. I'm not sure if I can talk about that or not. There's going to be a the, the, the thing on on Wednesday. Am I allowed to talk about that? I don't think so. Okay, then I won't. <laughs> cool. Look out for the thing that you're forgetting about right now. <laughs> uh, other than that, um, oh, what else did I do? Oh, trying to eat healthy. Um, yeah, no, I had sushi today. It was really good. Oh. Oh, I love sushi. Sushi is so delicious. Good. Sush. It is quite delicious. Other than that, that's uh, that's it. Oh, all right, Lanny. Where can I find you, and what are you up to? Me, you can find me all over the internet at Lanny Pator. Uh, as Caitlin so wonderfully put it, every Monday at approximately five o'clock Central Time, or exactly if you like to be specific. Uh, I. Run a little game, Connor, Caitlin. We are joined by Shadow Dancer Bob. It is called Roll With Me. We're uh, in the midst of some fuckery at the moment. Yeah. Fuckery is a good way to put it. Feel free to tune in and see how the fuckery shapes out. Uh, other than that, Elden Ring. Elden Ring is where I'm at. <laughs> it is. It, it is what I am currently born to play at the moment. Oh, Elden Ring is so good. Between that and Lost Ark, I have no idea what to do. It is very, very good. Uh, saw the Batman today, and you can catch my thoughts on that, as well as, I'm guessing, Kaiser's on the TalkCast pod show this Wednesday on twitch.tv slash stream star We go live at 3 o'clock Central Time, or your regional equivalent. 
Uh, if you miss it there, you'll be able to catch it on Four Star Bento shortly afterwards. But yeah, that's that's me. Alrighty, and finally, Sarah, where can they find you, and what are you up to? Uh, I'm on Twitter at Sarah with an E and with an E. Wait, Sarah. Sarah with an... <laughs> How many E's are there? Uh, it's Sarah Julia. with an E and with an E, Willia. Yeah. I'm um, chilling. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna chill. I'm actually gonna chill. Uh, so, um, cool thing that happened is, um. Uh, I was in a pilot for this little show called uh, Destruna, which was uh, created by uh, uh, Tom Dolan, or as m most people might actually know him, uh, Danger Dolan, I believe. Hmm. And uh, that just came out on YouTube on his channel. And it's really, it was really cool to get to be on that because um, there's a lot of people I hadn't gotten to work with yet. It's got... I mean, I had to work with David Hayter, who's, you know, a solid snake, and oh, wow. Alejandro Saab, who's all over the place. He's amazing. I love him to death. And, um, uh, Ja, I want to say, oh, God, my name. names, names, names. Uh, I know so. Joss Petersdorf, who's a uh, Roadhog on Overwatch. Oh. Um, Vargas Mason, Amphipop, and, uh, Tom Felton, who is Draco Malfoy in the Harry oh. Potter movies. I met him <laughs> in New Zealand. He is a very cool dude. He is a wonderfully humble, sweet guy. I really enjoyed working with him. He's just so, like, he was like, I'm sorry if I asked too many questions. I've not really done this sort of thing. He was like, dude, you're great. It's great. Um, So please, if you have time, please go check it out. Add some views to the YouTube video. It'd be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I both. I play cat and I play Pico Bot on that. Nice. Pico Bot, yeah. Cat. Yeah. All right, and they can find me on. That's me. Connor. I'm gonna eat some more chicken. They can find yeah, me how on... about you, Connor? What are you doing? Uh... They can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and youtubecom slash devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Tuesdays, I'm playing card games with the boys. Uh. Uh, Friday, Friday Funhouse, where we basically just play whatever I feel like with whoever decides to show up. We played some Amogus uh, with the people over in Colonel Cheru's server. Nice. Uh, Saturday, nice. I'm playing through Yakuza 5 Remastered. We are nearing the end of that game. We are so, so close now. Um, yes. Um, and Sundays, I'm going to try to get a Banner Saga stream out uh, tomorrow, hopefully. I've got some other things I need to take care of, but I am much more free than I was last week. Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, be sure to check out Dead House Sonata, as always. Uh, fun stuff coming down the pipeline for that game. They just released some uh, interesting sort of radio plays from people in the community, and it's been... Uh, Fascinating look inside the lore of Dead House Sonata. And also check out my DMs Guild where I'll be releasing the College of Distortion Bard sometime soon. Uh, and also for people who may or may not have heard already or seen on Twitter, uh, I voice uh, Captain Adrian Bakunin in Ghost Runner Project Hell. Hell yeah. Ooh. Oh my so, god, he's the voice actor now! Yay! I, I, I am, as a matter of fact... A voice actor now. Whoop, whoop. He's a voice joke, actor you, now. You've been one. It's just now <laughs> I can to toot it and be like, be like, yay, Connor. Indeed. Yep. I got some credits now. Beep, beep, got, beep. Some, got some demo fuel. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, the Ghost Runner Project Hell is available now. Uh, in but I, I don't voice the actual NPC named Connor. I auditioned for him. I did not get that role, though. <laughs> but I did get this one that I did get. Yeah, I can't believe it. They named it after you and just wouldn't do it. Yeah. Rude. I can't believe I got recast IRL. <laughs> Unbeknownst to you, there is another you. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, but yes. Um, other than that, this episode was brought to you in part by Die Hard Dies. Die Hard! <laughs> oh.
Yeah. It, 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 it cut you off. It cut you off. You said die immediately. <laughs> immediately. You fucking. You were sent to the shadow realm. This is incredible. This cord will not chain me. I may be chained, but my voice remains unchained. <laughs> I am a man with a love. Of shapes and dice that project probability. Indeed, polyhedrons forever. <laughs> and if, it's and if, everything to me. <laughs> and if you would like some shapes uh, that project probability for yourself, and also oh, accessories that help with those, then head on over to dieharddice.com. Use the code UNEXPECTABLES exclamation point to save 10% on your order at dieharddice.com. Uh, and with that, I'm gonna go ahead and read off some businesses. Yeah, get out there and read some bits and subs. Get out there and read some bits and subs, yes. Mm, that sounds just fine. Uh, Knight Allen, thank you for the 12 months, one year. Ace. Ooh. Werewolf in a Speedo, thank you for the 23 months. One more month to go until I've been here for two years. I seriously don't know what to think about that. Indeed. Uh, Drago soon, thank you for the 17 months. Yo, Wastelands. I really thought you were talking about Wasteland Weekend for a minute and was completely transported somewhere else. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, oh. It's a Mad Max LARP in the desert. It's... The oh wow! Shit ever it's that the coolest sound. shit ever. That that, that sounds sound cool, but there are snakes out there, so miss me with that shit. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you for that. <laughs> Gorilla Geek Twenty One, <laughs> thank you for the five months. Thanks to probably not a mayor for my gift sub. Screams into the stream. Er, how y'all doing? Doing all right. Uh. Papusa Monkey, thank you for the 100 bits. Ahoy! We back in St. Louis. Reasonable Rex, thank you for the thank you for the 10 bits. Oh yeah, it's gateway time. <laughs> Speather can, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Boop. Haven't caught the show in a while, and it won't tonight either. Oh. Aww. I'm here at work. Have a good time. I'll catch you guys in the VOD. Yeah, we'll Aww. see you in the Yay. VOD, Spevacan. Okay. Norviticus, thank you for the 10 bits. Death makes the sunflowers grow. Oh, not yep. He not here, though. Not here. Only in other countries. Indeed. Blackfoot Fair, thank you for the 500 bits. Sergeant Tucker, thank you for the 50 bits. What do you call a firebomb? Firebomb. Uh, That's what I call hmm. it. Hmm. Are you debating? I, I, I'm debating reading the rest of this. Is I'm going to go ahead and, and say thank you for the 50 bits. Uh, pseudonymic fake name. Think of the uh, 100 bits. Uh, Rabbit, you need to double down on your Die Hard Dice scream this coming Wednesday. Uh, also, yes, uh, you, you're you good. You're good to talk about that. Monty announced it last week. <laughs> Oh, good. I'll I'll oh, talk. I'll talk about it at the end of a show. Then. I'll yeah. talk about it at the end did, of show. did Monty? Uh, okay. Yes. Yeah. It, it's I, in it's the some people, some people came into my some people came into my stream and were talking about. It, so I imagine that got out somehow. Yes. Okay. 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 Yeah. okay. I, cool. I received word just just a couple of minutes ago that it was announced. So yes. Well, okay. It, it's literally in the events tab in the oh. Spectacles Discord. What? Yeah. <laughs> oh. I, I mean, probably, yeah, of I should probably start looking at those things. I, oh, I yeah. It, it says... Yeah, it's yeah. in the Where's that? It, in the public Discord, not our private. Oh, Discord. there's an events thing? Whoa. Yeah. yeah. Three events. It oh. says 322, then Wednesday 9th, episode 198, Digsby Fights, and then Saturday, Hello. March 12th, Prince Division 47. I, I would like to put a caveat to that. Digsby is a pacifist. Oh, God. <laughs> he ain't gonna be this time. We'll have to see as far as I know. Out. Oh, boy. <laughs> we'll have to see how it works out. Okay. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you pacifist, meanwhile. <laughs> 
What do you do when a pacifist chews violence for the first time? Join us, won't you? <laughs> I'm a healer, but... Quite right. I think it would be 40 bits. Uh... What is the... There are words that I'm not... A game where you mix a Mexican beverage at a chartreuserie restaurant. Charcuterie. Charcuterie restaurant. So dirty. Yes, what? indeed. It's spread house horchata. Why not I follow up with some... I knew Oh, not my... Follow, follow up with some Chinese food at Fry Hard Rice. Well done, Quiet Riot. That was a stretch, but you made it work in the way that you could. It's dedication. You it's dedication. It, it, it really is. It really that is. Was a, that was like Olympics for the brain. If, if you if you stretched any harder, I would have looked at Caitlin and went, holy shit, did you see Gumby right there? Oh, yeah. look at him go. That was, that was, that was a lot. <laughs> Quick, we got to find Pokey. I mean, they're, they're always together. Now I just so. want a charcuterie board. I want all the meats and the cheeses. Uh, big I don't know what that means. Yourself. What? Connor, Google charcuterie. It's meat and cheese on a board. I have to figure out how to I spell mean, it first. Though, you're limiting yourself, Caitlin. There's so many more. It's much more fun than just that, that hoity toity version. You could have a candy chartreuse board. You could have a cake chartreuse board. You could have any kind of chartreuse board with like. You could have a unhealthy again? snack. I will buy mm. all the snacks from Ralph's and like chips. And and pretzels and fucking funyuns, yo. Make a chartreuse board out of that shit. But Sarah, you're doing the chartreuse thing again. I can't believe the board's gonna be a weird color of yellow. Can oh, we, so, I, I can we just call it a meat board? And call that good? What? No, uh, because no! it's more than meat. Dare you Man. spit upon the holy name of the charcuterie board? Charcuterie, really? I I, I wish you could see. I wish you could see the expression I'm making right now. Why? <laughs> I've never heard. I've never heard of such a thing. Charcuterie. Sounds doesn't sound. Connor, I look like a reformed street thug, and I know what a charcuterie board is. Yeah, Char well, you know okay. What they, you know what we call it here? Charcuterie. Hmm. <clears throat> Originally, appetizer platter. Or butcher. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> Stellar Coyote, thank you for the 400 or the 100 bits. Uh, tonight's episode will be brought to you by Die Hard Dice. Da Rabbit.exe is not working. Well, Would you like to send oh. an error report? I thought that I something will not happened. Be tethered. I thought something happened to you, Connor. I was like, oh no. <laughs> Are you okay? You know, the Die Hard Dice thing reminds me Does Monty know about that? And she does now. <laughs> oh, good. Here's my second part. Dare uh -huh. I? <laughs> <laughs> I think now that she's prepared for it, I, I think I think she'll be all right. But you might survive. Oh, good. Oh, good. Uh oh, uh, I'm sure. I'm yeah. sure I can work faster. <laughs> Goku Super Saiyan 400. Thank you for the five months. Thanks to Prada and Anna for my gift sub. It's the Whoa. Connor and Friends Fun Time Hour in the Wasteland. How many Protectrons do they need to run away from this time? We'll find None. out. None. We did not run away from them. We avoided one. <laughs> but <it's your laughs> we did. <clears throat> uh, Magic Ninjago, 10 years of Spin Jitsu. Thank you for the 100 bits. And on Thursday, Midnight tries to reclaim his account with a worm while Rabbit hunts down a Nautilus with a, Belf uh, with a Belphegor. Oh, yeah, that's right. I played Digimon on Thursdays. That's, mm. yeah, that's right. Belfgore right. is a band I used to listen to. <laughs> oh, man, I used to listen to Black Emperor. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, those are the good ones. Oh, Black Dahlia? I don't even know if Black Dahlia is still a thing. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Gorilla Geek 21, think of the 80 bits. Now I'm imagining Rabbit wakes up every morning, rolls dice to see what he does. Hmm, what did the dice say? Rob a bank? Okay. <laughs> I've rubbed those parts out for my own safety. Thanks, <laughs> rat tail. <laughs> it's just drawn in with marker, re-roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Drago soon, think of the 250 bits. Last of my bits, but rave for the rads, indeed. 
Oh. Rabbit, I don't want to be this guy, but 19 sides of his dice have been rubbed out. I know. Mm. <laughs> Quiet, right? Thank you for the bit. It's all for you guys. Just for the smiles. Indeed. Aww. <laughs> oh, now, sweet. Now that we're going away from the from the lands of charcuterie boards and <laughs> uh, diehard dice, we'll head into the world of radioactivity and war. Are you guys ready to head into tonight's episode of Gateway? I am Is tonight's episode ready for the apex? <laughs> Maybe. We'll have to find Maybe. out. Is anyone I'm truly ready, ready for the apex? I mean, but I just chat. go after whatever guy you... Oh. Don't go after. Budget. Budget. Indeed. Indeed. What? Also, you'll be noticing that I'm playing on the new Roll20 Dark Mode uh, because I like it better than the Light Mode. <laughs> I love it so much. I love it when I don't get oh, flashbanged every time kinda, I play anything. It is kind of nice. Uh, my eyeballs suddenly feel so soothed. Oh, yes. I wish they did that whenever I click on uh, click on my character sheet because it's, like it's dark up top then blaring white <laughs> I'm a mad man i'm leaving it on like i don't i don't have to i don't have to uh squint my uh underdeveloped mole eyes anymore when i open my character <laughs> sheet you don't scream like shrimp every time you turn on roll 20 <laughs> uh, <laughs> <that's> just <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay one step at a time oh lord all righty <clears throat> Let's get into it. Alrighty. Shit. Need to do this thing. Oh. 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 Quick, quick. Get in there. When last we left the runaways, Apex the wild man, Cynthia the nurse, Louise the scavenger, and Alvin the mechanic, the gang set out on a harrowing mission to the National Museum of Transportation, looking for a part that they needed in order to fix up an old car. Upon arriving at the museum, the gang noticed that it seemed almost entirely populated by malfunctioning protectrons. After searching through several displays and buildings, they finally found what they needed. The transmission of a nearly pristine Corvega Blitz. After a harrowing but mostly successful mission, they decided to quit while they were ahead and booked it before more killer bots could close in on them. With a plan to hunker down in the old Super Duper Mart, what will the next few days have in store for the runaways? Find out now on tonight's episode of Gateway. So, what? No! <laughs> <laughs> I, I hit uh... stop. I hit stop right as it ended, and it... <laughs> Damn it, the it moment was ruined! It's, it's, it started playing it again, anyway. My immersion! <laughs> my immersion. Oh, no. Look, Mr. Uh, Narrator, I just need you to, like, get a handle on this, because it really just kind of cuts the whole story telling aspect in half. I, I am very sorry for ruining your immersion. <laughs> it, it, I know, man. It really hangles my kringle. Well... Uh, after your hingles were uh, thoroughly kringled by some protectrons Ooh. at the Museum of Transportation, you decide to head off to the Super Duper Mart that you had discovered previously. And oh, so... There it is. And so you head off. All right, we probably hunker down there for a little while. Yes, how far are we from the Super Duper Mart? It's pretty close. Uh, it would probably only be just a just a short little walk here. I also need to really quick open Google Maps. How close is the nearest target? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> The target. The target for oh the. Oh, oh my god, are they? <laughs> oh 
Walmart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Target. fairness, it, oh, in fairness it might be a Walmart. In the fall, in the Fallout universe, the targets were the first thing destroyed. I mean, it was kind of obvious. Are, are there are there Myers in, in Missouri? I don't know. Wait, no, there aren't. Oh, <laughs> Kmart's. Yes, there are Kmart's. Okay. Oh, wow. Exist? Wow. Yep. Yeah. No. Well, I'm just one excited. does. I was, we might we I'm be home to well. the only one, the last one standing. <laughs> the but, last of its kind. But you're heading to the Super Duper Mart, which is a fictional place in this uh, fictionalized version of our reality. This is fiction? <laughs> Unfortunately. Apex just looks at you. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> How fitting. Ah, uh, good lord. Everything is fiction. It just depends on how your mind processes it. <clears throat> Can use to hold the car part. <laughs> uh, it's the the car part in your hand, the transmission. It's heavy, but it's not like debilitatingly so. You just it's it's probably imagine I'm kind of like cradling it like a football. Yeah, it's 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 around that shape and size as well. It's it's about like twenty pounds. Um. But as you in my work shirt, you and the gang head on down the road. What's the weather like today? Uh, the weather hasn't changed from the last time you uh, checked. It is still just a little bit cloudy, but nothing much other than that. Um, the partially cloudy skies. Yeah, and on your way there, you come across another group heading down the road. Hmm. Appear to be uh -huh. shrouded in a uh, sort of a uh, tan and brown, sort of makeshift clothes. There appears to be about four of them. Are those are... clothes... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, I think we're about to ask the same question, so go for it. Are those clothes, like, can we roll on what those clothes are? Do those clothes look particular or like a like something, a kind of uniform or something recognizable? Um, Without having to roll, uh, you can tell right away that... that it just appears to be some sort of makeshift rags, like a like a jacket that's that was handmade. Um, nothing really scavenged or anything like that. It appears to be have have been fashioned, which is a little bit unique, but not terribly uncommon sight here in the wasteland. Uh, what's the makeup of the group? Is it all adults? Uh, male, female? They. Uh, ap they appear to be all adults, all males as well. Um, armed? Yes, uh, they do appear to be armed. They Some of them have just singular hunting rifles slung over their shoulders. They don't appear to be on a patrol or anything like that. They're just sort of sitting uh, near an old building, just talking with each other. And they look over uh, as you pass by or approach. Your call. Hmm. They're just uh, kind of hang. They're just kind of hanging out. They aren't like wandering. They're <laughs> they're yeah. They're they're like talking and swapping stories with each other, and and they're laughing over what appears to be like a, a grill, like a spit. Oh, okay, so they live around here. Oh, yeah. Probably a little camp site they've made up. I think uh, it'd be fine to go and say hi, right? I can try. They're, they're probably friendly enough. Do you approach them? Yes. Yeah, yes. what the hell? I'll approach them. Why not? Okay. Apex will stick kind of close to the back. 
they all sort of they all sort of sit up a bit more straight as you approach uh, the one that was sort of turning this wood spit and appeared to have uh, a small piece of mole rat attached to it. Uh, sort of stops turning it briefly and just sort of leans back cautiously. <clears throat> Howdy, wastelanders. How can we help you? Howdy. We're just passing. Just uh, looking at the uh, super duper market, uh, super duper mart over there. Ah, yeah, we just came from there. Actually, we were uh, picking up a couple of supplies for our, you know, our group. Uh, we're about looking the same way. Hmm. Well, there's still plenty in there. We won't hassle you none. So. Hey, that's no trouble at all. It's actually good news that there's stuff in there. Thanks for giving me the heads up. Sure thing. Uh, just do be aware. Sometimes the sometimes rad roaches like to come in and uh, go sniffing around for the sweet stuff, the uh, like the preserved candies and stuff. They really like that. Apex nods sagely. Oh <laughs> <laughs> hey, god. Hey, thanks for hey, thanks for the warning. Hey, you wouldn't happen to have seen any of those in there when you guys were sniffing around, were you? One or two, but we avoided them. All right, thanks for the heads up, then. Sure, we didn't stay in there for long. That's not the kind of place where you want to sort of camp out, really, but you're right, more than welcome to do what you want. Thing. No trouble at all. Hey, thank you guys so much. Enjoy your meal there. Sure thing. Uh, hey, uh, before we go, uh, you guys, if you guys got anything good, you might be interested in doing a little trading. If you've got caps. Uh, caps couple other interesting little items, I don't know. Well, let's see what we got then. And he, he'll sort of like uh, heave a uh, heave his backpack off and he'll sort of open it up and start pulling things out. Um, you see quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of fresh meat that was sort of uh, put into its own pouch and sort of wrapped up individually. You see hides of different types of animals, a uh, bunch of different types of, like, raw leathers and stuff. Is that it? Um, they've also got ammunition as well, but they, they appear to be a bit more reluctant to part with that. It'll probably be a bit more expensive than your typical fare. Uh, well, my ammunition isn't too horrible. Animal hides, though. I don't really have a lot of those. What kind of animal hides are we talking? Uh, well, we've got, um... We've got some Brahmin skin. We've got some mole rat hide. We usually just, you know, we... We tan the leathers ourselves and we make outfits out of it. That's quite resourceful of you. Yeah, well, the people of Tapawingo, uh, they taught us how to do it. We're good friends with them, you know. Huh. You go over there often? Whenever we pass by, but we mostly just roam. Uh, remind me, Tapawingo, that, that was that tribe of people where look, they're looking for that girl that went off on her own? Yeah, yes. Hagen. Yeah, the, the golf tribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> with the hole in one. <laughs> <laughs> how could I ever forget? <laughs> well, you look pretty good on food, but uh, Louise will take out one of the uh, Laughly Pale Ale bottles. This interest you any? They they all perk up and they look to each other. Yeah. All right. She passes the hand over one of the Brahmin skins. Yeah, this is real nice. Could I get one of those, and I'll give you give you one of these. I want to give you one of these bottles. And also, let's see. Uh, I got some regular water, too. We'll take water. All right. How about a bottle of this ale and a bottle of water? And do you think you need anything else added to that? Mm. Is it purified? The water? Yeah. Oh, I forget. Is it? <laughs> Um, it would probably be labeled purified if it was. It, yes, it would probably be labeled purified if it was. I don't know if it was at all. I, I then it's probably not. 
Hmm. I guess that isn't then. Uh, well, that'll be a chance to take then if he has that. So let me think here. Oh. Uh, I pulled up the loafers that she has. How about I add this to the deal? Shoes? Uh, you sort of, uh, just make a, make a charm roll. Oh, goody, my worst one. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. I have closed no. the game. <laughs> oh, oh, shit, no! no. <laughs> my yeah. Connor. Connor I, gotta get, I gotta get back in there. Oh, no! Where'd you go? Oh, I'll roll it anyway. Oh, man. Oh, Lord. I have no charm. Yeah, two. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's just like... Mm. They just cock uh, the, their rifles at me. Get the fuck out of here. They look at your shoes, and they all they all look at their own shoes, and they sort of shrug. Uh, I'm not sure we'll be able to find much use for that. Uh, fair Sorry. Enough. Uh... We'll take the water, though. Just, you know, might be able to offer you a bit more if it were purified, but I understand. Uh, you, even with... How about, the water? how about the water and the ale and five ten millimeter rounds? Five ten millimeter rounds. Water, ale, five ten millimeter rounds, and you want a Brahmin skin. Yeah. No, that sounds fair. Alright, sounds good. Do all that. Adjust my okay. inventory. Yeah. You have uh you have a bundle of Brahmin hide. Who? Bundle of. It's a Legend bit of raw says. leather. Cool. Louise gives her a little trademark grin. Pleasure doing business. Pleasure. You guys stay safe out here, especially if you're heading towards uh, that Museum of Transportation. There's uh, some. Skittish Ooh. bots who won't take kindly to you. Yeah, we've oh, heard. No. Uh, okay. Yeah, we've heard rumors. Yeah, no, we'll tell folks to stay clear of it. Is but people tend to know not to go too far south around here. Apex cocks his head. What is wrong with the south? The family is in the north. Well. Why don't you go ahead and give me a charm roll, Apex? This will go about as well as you expect. <laughs> it did better than me. By a whole two! Apex, he... is, Apex is staring at them with these eyes that say he's like, they might cons they might think he wants to eat them. <laughs> uh, oh he sort of leans back and like scratches idly at his cheek and his uh, cheek stubble. Oh, uh, well. Just rumors. You know, we've heard about the bots down here as well. And yeah, it's probably nothing, honestly. What kind of stories you heard on that? Apex is still glaring. <laughs> oh my god. I, I, roll, I rolled below a six. That's just my attitude now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's, what, it's what I'm giving out to the universe. It's, it's time for Alvin to take a swing, I suppose. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no, what kind of rumors y'all been hearing in that? Just that there's strange, just that there's strange things going on down there in the south. I haven't strange really heard. Way. What like rocks moving by themselves or something? Just people tend to just not want to approach. Is all. Is he pinging my take one takes one to no one at all? He is not. Interesting. Hmm. Wow, he seems strange. to he seems to believe what he is saying. Okay. So people just walk south and they just they just feel a certain way and they just head back, huh? I don't know what. Uh, I don't even know if there's any validity to these rumors at all. Uh, but you know, that's just what I've heard. That sounds like a fun story to tell back home. Where'd you first hear that? Ah, uh, somewhere around Clayton, I think. Down around Clayton? If I find myself down that way, I'll get. I'll ask around. Thanks for that. 
It might be worth it, but unfortunately, I don't really think I know any more than that. Hey, that's no trouble at all. All right. Well, don't get dead yeah. out there, y'all. Absolutely. Same to you. You either. Mm. Take it easy, y'all. Sure thing. Staring as he silently walks away. <laughs> just staring at them as he goes. <laughs> they just look at you oddly and reach down for the ale that they got and just sort of smack it up against a, a, a flat surface and crack it open. They pass it around. <laughs> and sure enough, with that, you head off. They were nice. Down <laughs> what, what's further south the end of the map no one knows <laughs> the end of the world? we cannot say <laughs> it uh it hasn't loaded yet <laughs> people just people just can't go any further they try but it's like an invisible wall <laughs> Oh my we're all, we're all there's first, just a yeah. super mutant glaring angrily at the end of the map going someday <laughs> turn around <laughs> I, want to, I want to believe that this particular society became flat earthers again but it literally is just like there's nothing over the side it just ends like a smash brothers stage oh my God. you don't want to go to mississippi <laughs> <laughs> trust me yeah. on that one like, okay, you're right. i'm sorry i'm leaving i'm leaving <laughs> it's just a super mutant that runs really fast around the border with a megaphone going, GO AWAY! Oh, that's what, that's what Joe Silverstein meant when he said the sidewalk ends. Literally. Oh. <laughs> so you approach. Uh, it is a large, flat parking lot uh, that is at the front of this super duper mart. You see these big, cheesy, old letters uh, in a big sign that spells out Super Duper Mart. And there's like a little bit of the of the first R and Super of the bar bottom of the sign that's just like cracked off and gone completely. The Ooh. sort of powder blue painted outside has been rusted over and the paint is dried and cracked and falling off after all of these years. Uh, you see a big advertisement for all the things that Super Duper Mart can offer you. Um, and a big yellow arrow that is pointing down to the entrance of the St. Louis Super Duper Mart. Super Duper Mart intend to offer me. Louise will go up to the door and sort of poke her head in and do a cursory check see to see if it's empty. Okay. Uh, roll me a wits roll. Yes. Ten. Oh. Very nice. As you... As you look around the Super Duper Mart, you see that it appears to be mostly barren. Um, you see that some of the shelves are still stocked. Um... This place looks like it's been picked at, but not really picked clean. It appears there is such an abundance of stuff in this place that even over maybe the last 200 years or so, not everything was was plucked clean from this place. You also hear off in the corner, uh, up behind like one of the cash register desks, you hear... Oh... Is the telltale scuttle and scrattle of what sounds like several rad roaches. <sighs> Pokes her head, pulls her head back outside. Well, we're gonna have to do some pest control. Apex. Oh, you found them right roaches? Right, Apex kind of cracks his neck. Yep, we got a few in there. Can I tell how many? Can I do a guesstimate? Just just from hearing, it sounded like there was at least three. I'm guessing three, maybe one more. But yeah, I think we're going to have to uh, 
clean a little bit. Oh, too, too bad. I think the smartest thing to do would be to go ahead and maybe pull themselves out in the open. That what we have them. Are they just feeding on something, or are they? A, are they? They're cocks their head. Mm, kind of sounds like they're in a corner somewhere. I don't think they're nowhere here. But if you want to get their attention, goes through her pack. Uh, I you could just walk in and yell. Well, True, but we could I mean, also... Okay, Le Louise pulls out the pair of loafers again. How about I just toss these in and see if they'll come to them? They might not be hostile. If they're feeding on something, they're probably fine. Apex has got a point. Do they... Louise suddenly isn't sure. It's like, wait, do they stay that way? Even if we're there? I Any wouldn't trust so him. So long as an animal is being placated, it will typically not go out of its way to address anything that is not considered food or a threat. So what you're saying is if we just give it a wide berth, it might not even bother us. Hmm. Apex nods. Huh. <clears throat> <sighs> looks to Apex, looks to Cynthia. Uh, Apex would know. Maybe, maybe we can trust them on this. Honestly, I'm yeah. Saying, I'm not saying they won't attack. I'm simply saying that there may not be a point to preemptively doing so. Just keep our guard up. And then if they just decide to go ahead and just wander around towards us, that's when we'll go ahead and smack them. That is when they will learn what it means to be at the lower end of the food chain. Well, I suppose... Still got a good amount of them devil e deviled eggs I could spare. Maybe if we have to, I could chuck a few at them, see if they'll take them instead. We don't need to spare for scavengers. If they yeah, but better spare. Powers, they will regret it. Still, better to spare the eggs than bullets I don't need to waste. <clears throat> spare the eggs, boil the rad roach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Alvin. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's just keep our guard up then. Uh, yeah. Which way were they? Uh, which way were they? Uh, Connor? Uh, like I said, they were sort of tucked off at the other far corner of this building uh, behind what looked to be a cashier's desk. Uh, over there. Points. See what that, see what that, uh, cash machine is mm. yeah i think they're over there behind that counter oh easy just not bother about them we'll check there last if we desire it yeah. also lena you're a little quiet again sorry we will check there last if we so desire <laughs> is this better is the apex is. now audible <laughs> yes they are the apex <laughs> is now audible the apex is so intimidating, his microphone fears him. This is audible. I will now read for you War and Peace. Oh, boy. As read by the apex. War and Peace and Zombies. <laughs> be a great thing to read. Look, there's Pride and Prejudice in Zombies. I'm not going to be surprised if there's War and Peace in Zombies at some point. That was great. There, there might be. I, I, know my, uh, I know my mom and my sister are big fans of those books. He. Uh, well, Louise yeah. will gingerly open the door and sort of slip on in. Okay. I will yeah. swoosh on in behind her. You enter the blown out ruins of the Super Duper Mart. Uh, the red and white checkerboard tile floor beneath you uh, cracked and worn away after years and years of neglect and abuse from just the deterioration going on all around you. Um, you see shopping carts long since abandoned. You see uh, shelves stocked with bits and bobs and 
pieces of things does, that just weren't collected over time. Does this Super Duper Mart have a literature section or a magazine rack? Um, er, um. Roll me wits. We are oh. having bad luck today, Apex. That is, that is, it is either picked clean or does not exist. That is a, that is a, a natural, two, two, that's snake eyes. I rolled snake eyes. Oh snake eyes. God. So, you do find a, what looks like a, a standalone rack for like magazines or books or something. Uh, it's been knocked over and it is completely empty. Apex is sad that it is empty. He will straighten it up and put one of his books in it. <laughs> you, you slide a copy of the adventures of Apex, the Wasteland and Wild Man in there. I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. Do Super Duper Marts have electronic sections? Do they? Um... Google. <laughs> <laughs> I've I've never asked this question. I followed. I just go to a super duper mart and I just drag my face across myself. That's all I did. Like <laughs> a super duper mart. Um, super duper marts were mostly like grocery stores. It's it's not unheard of that they would have an electronic session go ahead and roll me a, a wits to see if you're if you're get lucky and find anything you might uh, be looking for all right because <clears throat> i think we both know what i'm sniffing for uh let's see here 10 okay Ooh. uh what 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 sort of thing would you be looking for radios we're trying to find that trans we're trying to find that uh transistor oh. a radio um yep. That's a 10 on your roll. Let's see. Let's have a little look-see here. Do I gotta hold up Louise while she just waves her hands around and scavenger? Just like, hey, there you go. <laughs> when she makes that sound, I just drop her and she just runs off in that direction. Oh, God. <laughs> Waving her hands frantically. <laughs> Does that work? Shut up, I'm working. Okay. I'm excited. It's it's not in any sort of section, but off in the distance, you do see sort of like a, a manager's only area. Uh, you, you turn your head and you see sort of these uh, off yellow lights flickering in a room and the light catches on the sh shining metal of an old radio. You can't quite tell what condition it's in, and it also appears to be past where the group of rad roaches was identified to be. But you do see one. Oh, y'all, we might have to go ahead and wrestle some rad roaches. Hmm. There's a radio over there. I can tell with that blip. Apex see it right there in that office? Apex nods and starts walking towards the uh, area with the rad roaches. Oh, hey, Apex, Apex. <laughs> Hang on. She she's just hands um how many of these good? She hands four does deviled eggs to him and goes here. Give these a toss and see if you can sort of keep them distracted so we can pass. If not, she gets out her shotgun. We go route B. Why would we spare them our food? Well, as I said, better spare the food than spare my spare my shotgun shells. I can. Uh, can I see the uh, can I can I see the rad roaches from here? Um, if you get a little bit closer, you can see that um, you can see maybe like two of them are sort of like skittering and, and munching on uh, on a mass that you can't quite make out. Uh, two of them of a significantly larger group, or um. Just, just two, two rad roaches, um, that you can see so far. Uh, it kind of sounds like there might be more, but not terribly many more. 
Apex just kind of turns to Louise. If you do not wish to waste your shells, I assure you this probably should not be much of an issue. Mm -hmm. All right, she'll take him back. All right, Apex, you lead. Hmm. Apex wanders forward and uh, just, just seeing if they're going to become hostile, basically, at this point. Hmm. Like, at the point where, like, when would they start noticing him? He's just are kind you, of keeping his eye out there. Are you sneaking up on them, or are you just sort of testing them? I am a large, I am a large creature. I, uh, I do not particularly fear them. <laughs> okay. He's a, he's a large creature with there, thumbs. There is a radio to be had and Apex will have it. Let me just see how they feel about you. Um, as you approach, they sort of, their activity begins to slow and they sort of cock their antennae, uh, towards your location. Um, but they don't really seem to mind you all that much. They appear to be more interested in what they're sort of doing. Can I see what they are doing now? Make a um, wits roll. Please be better. That is better. That's a nine. That's a nine. You notice now you can see uh, all of them, about a group of four of these rat roaches are just on top of what appears to be a motionless humanoid form. Oh. The, you see sort of a spattering of a blood trail uh, going from the entrance of this place to uh, where this form has ended up. And Apex. Um, go ahead and give me a smarts roll as well. Oh, wow. I, I use this so rarely that I don't even have my stats for smarts in this, like, long list of things. Like, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I don't I don't use my brain much often. That is Two totally D6 fine. Plus. The drifting neuron. Roll. That's an eight. Okay. Let me just. <laughs> look up something real quick here because you would actually. Uh, somewhat recognize this. You've heard, briefly you've heard your family, uh, specifically your, it was your grandfather that was a member of the Brotherhood of Steel, I believe. Uh -huh. Your uncle was a member of the Brotherhood of Steel, and oh. in passing, you've heard him describe... Uh, the outfit of the person that you are looking at right now. It appears to be sort of uh, maybe a bit more patchwork than you would have initially thought. Um, it is sort of a clay red sweater vest um, underneath what appears to be a large combat vest with uh, abundance of pouches uh, now eaten and gnawed away. Um eaten and not away by these rad roaches. Um, but you know enough from just your history to know that this was probably a member of the Brotherhood of Steel. Mm -hmm. Apex's eyes widen for a moment as he's passing and realize what he's seeing and immediately starts darting towards that body. Like okay. originally he was ignoring the rad roaches for the reason that they weren't paying him any attention. Now he is wholeheartedly focused on getting to that body, and if they get in his way, they're dead. Okay. Um. Uh. Let's uh. just let's just see if. Okay. Yeah. The rad roaches see you going towards their easy meal, and they get a bit defensive. So now it's uh, it's on. They they're pretty hostile towards you at the moment now. I'm not sure how intelligent they are, but Apex is going to roll body to intimidate on walking in. Okay. Go for it. 
That's an 11 to oh my god. that may or may not recognize the threat. As eager as they were to put up a fight for their free meal, they quickly realize that they won't be eating anything if they're dead, and they sort of back off as you sort of put out this uh, oh, sense that aura. you are a danger. Aura. <laughs> Dude, yeah. your, your, your reyatsu uh, permeates. <laughs> uh, menacing man! I, yeah, so I, I immediately walk up as they kind of skitter back and crawl under whatever things they can crawl under just to try to find, like, a name badge or a rank plate on this guy. Uh, yeah, the rest of you... Cool. The rest of you see this this group of four rad roaches just just scatter and move to the opposite end of the uh, of the super duper mart and just sort of wait for you all to leave from there. They're... <laughs> they're well and truly they don't want to put up a fight they were they were getting fat and happy off of their easy meal like louise had her hand on her shotgun like oh shit and then she's just like oh uh oh okay then yeah um, um just holds up a power fist and just lowers the power fist <laughs> just cynthia and alvin she's just like did did you guys know we could do that <laughs> cynthia looks at everybody Takes a look at James like, he doesn't normally do that. <laughs> no, that's Seems like a weird enough guy to begin with. No, that's that's new to me. Well, um, okay, you know, I think this is handled. I'm gonna do some looking around myself. Cynthia's gonna go over and help inspect the, the, the corpse. While y'all do that, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, Try to get myself into that uh, uh, manager's office. Can do. <laughs> Louise goes to James and links her arms with his. Why don't you join me? Uh, okay. And he he'll walk along with you. He'll sort of look at your arm, look up at you, like okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is she uh, friendly? Is she disconcerting? You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> disconcerting. <laughs> Is it disconcerting when I smile? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, it is. Anyway. <laughs> 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 oh god uh, i'm good okay uh, all right i'm sweet all right yeah, yeah. fine all right uh. <clears throat> all right uh as you and cynthia apex um move in to sort of check uh, any sort of identifying features, you see that the Rad Roaches have done a good job at just sort of gnawing away at a lot of the features of this person. You can tell that they were a man. Um, sort of scraggly brown hair hidden beneath a hat. Um, a lot of his... A lot of his face has been chewed away. Um, much of his clothes has also been chewed away by these red roaches. And you can tell this is pretty fresh. He's maybe only been sitting here for a week. Whoa. I scramble over its form, just like looking for like a, a rank badge or some, something, some form of like military identification. Things that would uh, not necessarily be worn through so easily by a bug. You know, like a dog tag or something. Okay, roll me a wits roll. Six. Shit. You don't find any sort of... Uh, you don't find any... You don't Find anything. Uh, you don't find oh, anything. Uh, hang on, I'm just... Uh, 
as you sort of pat um, this person down, uh, you do actually, uh, even even with your roll, um, he does still have something on him. You see sort of a shining silver metal around his neck. I reach for that and snatch okay. it. Okay. Uh, as you pull it out, you immediately recognize what this is. You've seen one of them before. This is a Brotherhood of Steel hollow tag. Do I know how to read them? I would say, given your history, you could probably be able to decipher one of them. Um... This reads, this Brotherhood of Steel hollow tag reads, uh, scribe Hanson Miles. Apex breathes a sigh of relief unless that pings something in the back of his mind, which I don't think it does. I don't think you would know this individual. All right. What was it again? Hanson Miles. Apex pockets the tag. Uh, is there anything else interesting in the area outside of the corpse? Um, I, I guess he's not very much interested in anything else this thing has on its person. Nothing that you would probably be interested in. Uh, nothing that you can find anyway. All right. A Apex calms down and begins to wander back as Cynthia's walking towards him. Apex, you all right? Yeah, I, uh, thought it could have been somebody I knew. From where? From my family. It wasn't. I don't know who this is. But I have their identification in case we find someone who does. Now, do I recognize that outfit? No. Does it look uniformy? I forget. From your experience, it looks like it could be a military uniform, but none that you've ever seen in your lifetime, both before and after the war. Okay. Yeah, this is a post-apocalypse military thing. Got it. From... Your family, you thought you might know him, but you don't? My uncle worked for the Brotherhood of Steel, and... Oh. My brother idolized him, so there was a brief moment where I thought... It might have been him. It was neither of them, so it's, it's fine. Well, um... Glad it wasn't someone close to you. Um, I guess we'll just look around the store then. He seemed to have some equipment on him. I don't really have any interest, but I don't know if any of it would be of use to you. I'll I'll take a look. You you keep looking around the store. I keep, I, I keep my eyes out to see if any rad roaches return, but if they don't, I'll uh, inform. Well, I'll go to the and see though. if I can help him finding things. I think that'd be good. You know, I'm glad it wasn't anybody related to y'all, but I, I kind of have a question. Remember back when we were at the Arch? They said they drove out the Brotherhood of Steel, right? Yes. I thought that meant, like, completely out of St. Louis. If that's the case, what are they doing here? They... They know what my family's doing. There's no way they'd leave the area entirely, and... I, I look over the man's uniform. This this obviously is not a man in full... Like, he, he does not have power armor, and it doesn't look like he's geared to wear the power armor, right? This looks like a scout. Um, he... 
just judging off of his appearance, he doesn't look to be uh, someone who would see a lot of combat himself. So he's a tech. You you didn't really familiarize yourself with the different ranks uh, right. of the Brotherhood of Steel too terribly much. I'm I'm simply like looking at his attire and thinking this man looks like he's he's traveling light, uh, wearing very modest armor, though he's either a scout or something that isn't exactly a soldier. Uh, you you did see on his hollow tag the word scribe. Ah. The scribe, the tag describes him as a scribe. I think that's. Would I know? Well, I, I okay. Here's the problem where the where the meta comes in. Yeah. I know what a scribe does in the Brotherhood of Steel. Would the uh -huh. apex? Roll me another smarts roll. No. Apex would Aww. not. That is a four. Absolutely not. Oh you, man! You, you were more interested in more of the more of the. You were probably more interested in more of the exciting stories that your uncle had to tell you. The tag describes him as a scribe. I don't necessarily know what that means within their ranks. My uncle never really told me he was more of a ranger. All right. Well. That's kind of good news for y'all, though, right? That means if they've been kicked out of the arch, and I thought they were out of St. Louis, then this, I guess they ain't. That can be a good or a bad thing. It depends on how you feel about the Brotherhood. I guess so. Feel more about that radio a little bit. Now oh, this door's jammed. <clears throat> Apex moves over to assist with the door. Okay. Cynthia's gonna As... inspect the body. Okay. Uh, Alvin and the Apex are trying to get this door unjammed. Uh, you can either go ahead and roll body or, I guess, wits to try and get it open with whatever <laughs> measures. Apex will roll body. Okay. That is a nine, I'm sure, with your... Alvin will also roll body. That is a... Twelve. Yeah, Jesus. Whoa. With Ooh, the eh? two big beefy men, yeah, you just shoulder tech <laughs> the door and it, it's it's old enough. It just comes completely off the hinges. Oh, good. I was gonna slam it with a power fist, but I didn't want to go ahead and make a ruckus. Uh <laughs> Louise, Cynthia. Louise laughs and calls out, Be still my heart. <laughs> Apex rubs his shoulder because he hit it wrong. <laughs> Aw. That's where the nine comes in. Yeah, it's it, a little, a little sore, but you know, probably not enough to deal any damage. It's to. right where I got blasted by a uh, protectron. I just <laughs> forgot where my burn was. <laughs> my burns! <laughs> Ow! Right. <laughs> oh, Point man in his big ass scar. What do you mean I'm not a war avatar? <laughs> uh, Cynthia, why don't you go ahead and roll me a wits? I if you're searching will. His body. Ding. First roll of the game is a five. Oh, no. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> you didn't really find anything uh, that Apex didn't. Cool. It's a body. Uh, okay. I guess that's, uh, I guess Cynthia will uh, look around the store instead. Alrighty. Um, just... Just tell me what you guys would be looking for. Obviously, Apex and Alvin, you now have access to the manager's room. Uh, I'd like a pharmacy area myself, if they got one. Yeah. Pharmacy area? Okay, pharmacy um, for the both of you. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's see what you would find. Uh, just go ahead and roll me wits, both of you. <clears throat> Unless, oh, okay. unless Louise is looking for something specific, uh, Alvin and Apex, uh, that radio that you saw through the window is sitting right there. It appears to be mostly intact. Um, maybe years of misuse or not misuse, just neglect, probably makes it look a bit old and decrepit. 
But you could probably get it working over a night of work, probably. There you are. Let me go ahead and check the back, see if there's a transistor in this. All right. And Alvin will take out his two L's. Roll he me. Will try to prize the backlight. Roll me smarts. Oh boy, here I go, big brain. And 15. Oh my oh god. My god. Oh. Damn. That's perfect. Perfect. That is two sixes on the die for a total of 15. Woo! Uh, Alvin as knows if you, everything about this model. As if you'd been doing it your whole life. Uh, maybe maybe in the past you, you'd practiced on this type of model, but you get right to work. You pull out the... You get this thing open. You get a good look at the guts on the inside of this thing. And sure enough, you find yourself a radio transistor. It appears to be fully intact. Oh my god, yes! Yes! Oh, oh Apex! Apex, it still works! Oh! Oh, it's still in good condition, too! So that's what we've been looking for. It's so tiny. Yeah, these things can amplify signal. This is just the thing! I'll go ahead and clap it up back at the back plate. We'll now yeah, we'll just take the whole damn thing with us. Okay. You and have... Nods. You have a radio. Hell yeah! <laughs> Yo, keep it in that radio. We'll go ahead and keep it intact. We'll get back to Riverside. Uh, meanwhile... Ooh, how about we celebrate by going through the food aisles? <laughs> meanwhile, with the... With, <laughs> with, with the two ladies... Uh, and, and point man. <laughs> and point man, I'm here too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Louise will just uh, give point man a pat on the back and be like, "All right, hot stuff. I'm down a stim pack. So why don't we look for some medical supplies, shall we?" <laughs> he sort of gets an uncomfortable look when you call him hot stuff, and he just sort of side eyes over at Cynthia. At, at Cynthia, just like <laughs> Cynthia, like can't look at him. Her eyes turn bright pink, and she just like kind of like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like smiles and looks at the floor. Uh, Tony's yeah. is enjoying herself, and she's like, <laughs> "Oh, uh, hey, Phil, if you see any, just Phil, keep a lookout. Would you just give me a ping if anything happens? Probably not, he, but he, you know me." He just sort of scratches the side of his the side of his cheek with his, with a pinky finger, and he's like, "Okay, what did you want me to find again? Sorry, I got distracted." Ah, yeah, I do that. Uh, stim packs, right away. You know, whatever looks useful. Okay. Definitely stim packs. If we can get them. What? No, no, just just look out, Phil. Let's like, don't worry about it. It's fine. He he eyes you quizzically, backs up a little bit, and then turns to go look for some stim packs or something. All right, I'm uh, rolling. I don't believe I can roll scavenger yet because I think I it's not a new day yet. I think it's uh, been three sessions and it's not a new day yet. I believe not. The day is coming to a close, though. And right, I'll just roll regular then. Who <laughs> it's? Eh, five. Unfortunately, uh, this sort of place, more of a grocery store, probably wouldn't be where you would readily be able to find any sort of stim packs or stuff like that. Ugh, my scavenger skills fail me. Alvin's a better one at this point. <sighs> and oh, I well. need to do a what what? Uh, wits roll. Okay, and go! Eleven! Yay, Eleven. somebody rolled well. Uh, let's see what you find. Let's see what you find. Tink. Tink. Hmm. Well, you don't find any stim packs. Again, the place like this would probably be scarce. And even if they were an abundance of stim packs here, that'd probably be the first thing people would look for. Right. Yeah. You do, however, interestingly, you find an old uh, pill bottle that appears to have this browned glass and an old worn out label. It's got a cartoony description or a, a 
depiction of these two uh, green slitted cat eyes, and in big bold letters it says "cat eye" on the side of the bottle. That sounds totally healthy for us. <laughs> Do I know what that is? Uh, it is actually uh, a pre-war sort of uh, drug that was touted to allow you to see better in the dark. Oh. Well, I don't think this is going to help me any since I can't really process it, but uh, if anyone wants some night vision, this would be the way to do it. Oh, let me see. Yeah, go ahead. Tosses it over to Louise. Okay. Louise kind of peruses the bottle and just, again gets that trademark grin. Oh yeah, this doesn't sound sketchy at all, but hey, <laughs> I'm down to try anything if we need it. Tosses it back. Yeah, let's hang on to that. All righty then. Okay, you have a bottle of cat eye. No, I can, I can plausibly store this. Uh, did I? Did Louise hear them talking? Uh, Louise and Cynthia. Uh, <laughs> did she hear Cynthia and Apex talking about how that guy was Brotherhood of Steel and stuff? You probably could have listened in. This place, is, uh, this place is quiet and empty enough as it is. The only really sound is the scared rat roaches at the other end of the building right now. Louise <laughs> kind of thinks back to that one scavenger guy they met that she found out was in the was a former Brotherhood of Steel, and out of curiosity, she's like, oh, "I'm gonna go look at this body myself, actually." Okay. Uh, the rat roaches are all huddled together. One of them's like, "Do, do you think he's gone?" Point man comes around the corner and he's he's got uh he's got a, a bottle himself. It's another it's another similarly colored, similarly shaped bottle. Uh but it it clearly has a makeshift wrapper around the front of it, and it just says in big bold red letters, Rad X. Found some of this stuff. It'd be useful more for you smooth skins than me, but here you go. He sets out a jar of Radax. Ooh. Louise will, if no one else objects, she'll take that and put it in her inventory and give him a pat on the cheek. Oh, clever boy. Apex Thank and you. Alvin are still in the uh, manager's room. Yes. Did, uh, uh, did, did Louise just pat uh, Point Man's face? Yes. <laughs> Momentary Terminator red eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to imagine Louise looks and sees the red eyes and sort of just smiles, raises hand, and sort of backs away. Not not in fear, just sort of like, oh, okay, okay. Eyes slowly return to normal blue. Blink, blink. <laughs> Louise will go ahead over to, as Louise goes over to the body, she gives Cynthia a little pat on her rump. Love you too. <clears throat> this is weird. right. I I don't cough. Uh, <laughs> she's teasing me, James. I see. Um, I'll I'll just go be. Uh, I'll keep an eye on those rat roaches. Thank 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 you, thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. Uh, Apex. What were you saying? I'm sorry. Oh, I. Uh... I don't know, probably at about this time, when, since we have the radio, we'd be wandering out. Okay. I want to go ahead and go through those food aisles. I want to yeah, I want to celebrate with something. Apex would be doing the same. All right. Both of you go ahead and roll me quits rolls. All yeah. right, here we go. Eight this time. Eight. Eight this time. Nine this time. Eight this time. And nine this time. <laughs> right foot, left stomp. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put this on. Uh, oh. Let me see. Let me just go ahead and food. Food. Uh, 
Apex, you go looking through the different aisles. Appears to be mostly uh, plucked and picked at. Just over the course of the years of the place has been around and you managed to find, well, I'll be damned. It appears to be an old MRE. M R E. A meal, meal ready, ready, to to eat. Eat. Oh. ready to eat. Oh yeah. Those are delicious. They they actually are. Some of them. Poss possibly could have been dropped by that brotherhood guy. You are not quite sure. Uh, but there it is. Apex takes his last meal. Well, what <laughs> <is his> <laughs> You have an MRE, and Alvin, you find <laughs> you find uh, a box of a Blamco mac and cheese. Nice. I think you found this before. <laughs> yeah. Everybody loves look, I, look, I am the cheese lord. I find the cheese. <laughs> Everybody loves blam dinner. <laughs> oh. oh, that's going to be great for later. Oh, yeah. Righty. <clears throat> All right. Let's head. I uh, think we should head back out side way for him. I think we should probably dig around, see if we can find for him. What do you think, Apex? We can probably go join them. Right, which way did they said they were going? I think Louise made mention of the pharmacy. Oh, yeah. Should be that way. <laughs> As it's Alvin right. points awkwardly and starts walking while looking back to Apex, like, right, I'm going this way. This is where we go. You walk Apex through the labyrinth. Right. <laughs> you walk through the labyrinthine uh, aisles of the Super Duper Mart, uh, but eventually you're able to find each other. Ah. At least in the radio. Okay. Louise is over, gonna go over, uh, has already gone over to check the body, so she's not quite in this conversation. Okay. A uh, radio, huh? Yeah, I found a power. radio. Yeah, I found a radio transistor in great condition. Boss man will probably get a kick out of that. Yeah, that's probably what we're gonna be needing for those, uh, for them collars, too. If the idea holds water anyway. I hope it does. I hope so too. Ah. <sighs> so what have you been doing out here, Point Man? Any more rat roaches? Ah, just watching the ones that were swarming around that guy. I don't think there are any more other in here. I managed to get up to a high enough place. Scoped around. Didn't really see anything else. They'll return when it is safe to eat. I'll well, trust your judgment probably, on that. That means you probably have free run of the place right now. Well, I guess all that's left to do is just wait for us all to reconvene and just reconnoiter out of here. All right. And for that to happen, uh, Louise, you are going to check out that body? Yep. Please, we'll kneel down next to it, and I'm going to roll. Yeah. Roll my wits. Hey. Ooh. Okay. Uh, hmm. <laughs> hmm? It's fitting that you should find this. Um, oh, fun. While it somehow managed to avoid the eye of uh, the others who had searched this body, you actually see uh, gripped in this man's hand, uh, sort of tucked away, some sort of recording device. What? Louise will pry open his hand and take a look at it. Do you pry the death grip away from this thing? Sort of the 
weird snapping of tendons as you pull his fingers off, uh, away from this thing, not off. Um, and you can see now that it is a recorder for a hollow tape. Louise knows what these are, right? Oh, yeah. Huh. All right. She uh, gets to her knees, looks over at the rad roaches, and just like, enjoy your meal, guys. Goes over to the group. Hey, uh, that guy, uh, he's got a recorder on him. He what? Why does hmm? he have a flute? <laughs> you wouldn't know what a fucking recorder is. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, oh, my God. Oh, that was harsh. <laughs> you wouldn't know what a I'm finally something on <laughs> Oh yeah? Out. Well what if Wow What if it was an eight nut? <laughs> so, finally It's been twenty two episodes, but finally there's something on par with Alvin, you know what the fuck a hospital is. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, that's right. Uh, <laughs> Louise gr- glances over the rad roaches again. Let's uh maybe reconvene outside before we check this thing out if we're done in here. Apex gives the rad roaches one more evil eye. Okay. They they hold still as you look over at them. And they sort of slowly, tentatively begin walking towards the body again once you are looking like you're heading out. They know we've defeated their leader, Sephiroach. <laughs> <laughs> they know. They can smell it in the air. <laughs> Apex doesn't know it, but he is their king now. Oh. Actually, hit the mute button. Oops. Okay, so you convene uh, back outside then? Sure. Yes. All right. How dark is it? The is it sun in? is. Uh, you. It would be starting to, uh, it'd be starting to get dark. The sky, the sky is sort of orange at this point. Uh, see if this thing still works. Louise will press play on this hollow thingy. Uh, you actually would know that your Pip Boy has a hollow tape playing function. Ooh, whoop! Then yeah, do that. <laughs> Okay, I don't you... have a tape playing function, do I? <laughs> Not that you open, know of. Open your mouth. Let's put it in. Just cram it in there. <laughs> oh, my <Not> God. Playing. <laughs> which, which orifice would... <laughs> it comes out of my ears. Alvin just slightly turns red and goes, I, I don't want to... So no. you, 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 you press a button on your Pip-Boy and you see like a, a, a large slot up top just sort of uh, appear... And you slap the hollow tape in, slap the lid down, and a crackling voice comes out of the speakers. You hear? To whoever finds this hollow tape, this is Scribe Miles of the Brotherhood of Steel. We are by the elder. He was hoping to find one of these old facilities. He was hoping he could give us the upper hand, but we didn't find anything. At least not before my escorts were shot down by a bunch of crazed protectrons. I just barely had time to scuttle the power armor before making my way here. If you're with the archers... I'm afraid you'll not be getting anything from my dead comrades. If you're not with the archers, afraid to put in the work, make a difference in the wasteland. Old Fort West at Victorium. Huh. And the tape ends. Is that what he said? Apex, you would know that he uttered the Brotherhood of Steel's sort of motto, battle cry, Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium. 
Yes. Toward victory. It means towards victory. Oh. Huh. She glances back in the direction they came. Protect drones. Was he was he over at the Museum of Transportation too? Possibly. Maybe. I didn't hear anything about them. I didn't see anything like that when we were around. We didn't see any signs of them, but maybe they were in the buildings that we weren't. Wonder what they were looking for. They made mention of power armor. It's... Oh. Guttled power armor at that. Not if you saw it salvageable, but... That would they said another... something about Fort and West, I thought I heard. I heard it too. Yeah. Did that ring any bells for you, Apex? A fort out west or something? Would it possibly ring any bells for Apex? Not for you, no. Apex for any of us? For mm. 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 No. Mm. no. No. This this wouldn't ring a bell for any of you. The person who had the best shot was Apex, and not not even him. Guess we missed something nice and big over at the museum. Oh, I don't know. We'd have to go back and look again to find it if we even wanted to. Well, let's take uh, a pin at that for right now. Fort and West. Maybe someone else might know something about that. But who? I mean, those travelers said that not many people go down that way. Well, that was south, not west. Mm. Fort oh. West. Right. Yeah, Fort West. How about you, Point Man? <sighs> well, I was, I, I was in the military. There are a couple of military forts out here, but I'm not sure. Hmm. I think I vaguely recall there being an old military fort uh, somewhere out here, but I... Uh, it's been so long, I couldn't rightly tell you. Hey, that's no trouble. I mean, hey, sunny, sunny side of the slope. I mean, we know it's somewhere around the vicinity. Louise will get at, uh, show her pit boy to point man with the map and be like, do you think you can sort of give us a general idea where it is? He He's sort of like, like, he sort of cringes a bit and he's like, ah, it's been so long. I couldn't, prob I probably couldn't pinpoint it on a map for you, even if I tried. I mean, Fair enough. there's the old Jefferson Barracks, but those are near the city. Hmm. Barracks? Jefferson so think Barracks. It camp would be not far from the city then, right? If that's it's where near, they stay in. It's near the city. But that's... Well, that's a bit more to the east. <sighs> That'd be a bit out of a ways, and... Sadly, time's against us at the moment. So it sounds. Well, hey, um, you and you mentioned someone else used to be in the war back in uh, uh, Riverside. Are there any other former soldiers that might know anything? I mean, the only other person who I can think of right now who is in the war was uh, Cynthia here and uh, the other... The other, uh... Miss yeah. Kathy, man? Kathy. She was in the war, too. She was also a nurse. Uh, maybe she knows. Be worth asking her if she's there. Uh, fair enough. Well, I, I guess if we ain't planning to go back to the museum anytime soon, maybe we should get a leg on and get back to Riverside. Yeah. So we've got the parts for everything and all that. Oh, I'm excited to show these to boss men. They would make traveling quicker. That's true. If we well, wanted to come if this, back. If this uh, thing we're rebuilding works well, we have a quicker trip to back to the museum if I guess we need to come back. Mm -hmm. I, I trust boss man. I don't think there's anybody who knows their way around old world machinery like him. Yeah, no, I'll trust boss man on this one too. If he says it'll work, it'll work. I bet he could Absolutely. give any one of those Brotherhood goons a run for their money. <laughs> no doubt it. Oh, that's for sure. Hmm. 
The last I heard, they don't take too kindly to my kind. Oh, screw them. We don't take kindly to them, then. Mm. They pack nods slowly. I don't see why. I mean, y- y'all are some of the nicest people I know, honestly. I couldn't tell you. Yeah, back when the big battle took place, uh, I forget how long ago it was, but... Yeah. I didn't... I didn't really have much dealings with him. Not like anybody else could get into the arch grounds around then anyway. What was happening back then? The Brotherhood of Steel had a complete lockdown around then. If anything, the archers coming in sort of freed up the place. Hmm. Made trade more available. Brotherhood of Steel didn't really deal with us common people, and especially not ghouls. They think so highly of themselves? Yeah, I bet they don't think so highly of themselves anymore. Cynthia kind of looks over at Apex. Maybe they kind of have an agenda or something. I'm not sure. Well... All I know is if they if, if they fans y'all, I'm hell. I'll be fa- fans of y'all regardless. Well, anyway, all I'm saying is if you want to go seeking out the Brotherhood of Steel, I probably can't come with you on that particular journey. Mm. I'm not gonna go ahead and try and stop you or anything, but you know, I understand. I say at the moment that's low on our list of priorities. Yeah, we gotta enough. go ahead and get these situations fixed back up. All right. Well, where's north from here? Does it say on that little? Uh, does it say on that bit right there? <laughs> Points up that way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that yeah, is handy. Back, back the way you came would be your <laughs> route. And so, Let's see how much we can trek before it gets dark. And so you head off, uh, having gotten some provisions for your way back to Riverside. This, I think, would be as good a place as any to call for a break. Yeah! Wee woo. All right, echo bathroom. Yeah, we're right. right. I'll be here. Here See I go, crab right. walking away. Check out my sweet crab walk. Howdy, chat. Hope you're enjoying the stream so far. Hope you're enjoying the show. Let me get the chat. Hello, chat. I'm here, chat. I'm coming, chat. I believe in you. Hello. Ah. I'm gonna go grab a drink. Do it. Doing ghoul voices hurts my throat. Yeah, that sounds right. It's like a chainsaw. How you doing tonight, chat? Jeez, Lord. Kane time, what are you talking about that clip? What do you mean? What 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 are you talking about? <laughs> you have wine and muffins? Oh my god. I never thought of such a combo, but I guess if they what what kind of muffins? Sounds like Put, a good night. Puts on cult of pollo robe. Oh god, the Elden Elden Ring? I I said El, El, I guess still can't El, Elden Ring It's pretty fun I pretty fun game I say it wrong because I say Elden Ring not Elden Ring And the issue is that um 
uh, I don't enunciate the D. L. But the way that I said that was different, and it got clipped. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you can imagine how I phrased it. <laughs> the possibilities come to mind. Oh, uh, yeah. Knowing me. A chocolate muffin with chocolate chips and sweet rosa wine. Yummy. Oh that God. sounds delicious. And now that Connor's back... I'm going to grab a fizzy drink, and I'm probably going to shotgun it and burp. Nice. Beer B. <laughs> Hello? It's quiet. Hello. Hello. Welcome back. I have a little bit of this chocolate cheesecake thing. I don't know what it is. It's good, though. I got some water powdered lemon in it. Uh, there's a lot of muffin talk in the chat. Ah, uh, yes. Brandy soaked orange muffin? Oh, that sounds so good. <clears throat> Quite decadent. Last time I made muffins was on Halloween with Caitlin, and I made pumpkin... I made, uh... What did I make? I made some kind of... What was it? Hmm. Some kind of sp pumpkin spice mix to put in it because it was a base ass box of base ass mu muffin mix that you could add stuff to. Basically. That's fun though. Nice. Base oh, man. Nutmeg. I got a nutmeg, cinnamon. Big dirty stinking base. <laughs> man, muffin mm. sounds so good. The last time I had a muffin, I've been on this like low carb thing for so long, I forget what good food is. <laughs> Trying to eat a little healthier. Like, like I was like, I'll have sushi today. That's that's healthy-ish, right? Like, just... <laughs> yeah. It is pretty healthy and tasty, and expensive. They had a, uh, they had a, uh, they had this, uh, you, know, you, it. you get one sushi roll at this, um, at this, uh, uh, Asian restaurant I go to, uh, you get one free. Huh. So I got, yeah, so I got a drag roll and an eel roll and I was like, oh, I'm in heaven. Mm. Right. I love eel. I, eels are those things that you're like, nothing about you should be delicious. And every time I've had it, I would like. I will render you endangered in the sea. Like, I'm like you're so good. Like, you slippery, uh, delicious chain, thing, you. There's a chain here called Kuda. Uh, I know it's in a lot of places in America, but uh, it's it's essentially just a, re a revolving sushi restaurant where like the place Ooh. just kind of roll by you. That's that's my go-to around here. Conveyor it's sushi. It's good. We mostly yeah. have yeah. for that. I've yeah, never that's had that's conveyor that's sushi, but the novelty yeah, sounds so cool. I want to go to at least one in my life. That's they charge you by here, plate. Rabbit. Get out of here, rabbit. We'll take you to one. We got curs all over the place. My yeah. skin's so pale, it'll burst into flame when I get out of the airport. Like Nosferatu. Nah. Okay. <laughs> that's all you needed to say. I'll go. <laughs> well, you well, got I'm me. the person who never tanned, and mom would, like, take me in and get me, like, mole removal surgery every time she thought there was a dangerous looking mole on me because my skin was that like sensitive mm -hmm. so if i didn't you won't either oh you know what that's fair that's fair my uh my mom turns uh lobster red uh, uh but i think i dodged that so <laughs> nope i'm a burner i burn I'm one of, those, one of those people where, like, I don't burn immediately. It's like the sun cursed me. And then the moment I get home, I'm just like, oh, that's not bad. And all the burns are like, at once. Like, <laughs> I don't know how I don't know how I survived in, when I did marching band camp in um, high school. Because that was like every August for three weeks and would be out in the blistering sun. 
Have you ever I been? Remember, in- I remember you- training a marching band, and we have we did we did it in the summer in full mm-hmm. uniform too, in the scorching August heat, and I'm like, this is what death is. Death we didn't is- have to do. I will say we didn't have to do it in uniform. But have you ever been in a situation in such hot weather for several hours that was so hot you ended up with a blister on your ear? That was my experience. Oh, oh it was no, awful. Was I hadn't, Freshman but I did year. have blisters all across my back one time. Oh my oh. god. I just Indiana think... Summers ain't nothing to sniff at. Hello. I just had the biggest sip of blood orange soda. Right. That was it. Was it everything you wanted? It was everything. <laughs> I need to go fill. I need to go refill my glass while Connor shouts out bits and stuff. Hey, I, 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 I always, I always did want to go to Cali. That's one of the places I've always wanted to go to. It's uh, because, like, you know, I was a '90s kid, and like the palm trees and whatnot were always on my like my little trapper keeper folders and whatnot. Aww. One day I'll go there. You will. <laughs> yeah, you gotta come visit me and Caitlin and Ed. Yeah. Absolutely. There's so much it. good food places in California, too. I mean, everybody has to come visit me. Eventually, and we're all gonna get to hang out in LA yes. and you just go on a food spree. That's what's gonna happen. To, to, hear, to hear my. Uh, to hear my Appalachian family talk about California. I was talking about Cali one time my mom, and she's like, you want to go to Cali? And I'm like, yeah. She goes, you got bar gold to go to Cali? Like- no, it's... it's <laughs> I I understand the shrug coming she, from Indiana. She She's always down for me to go to new places and whatnot, but she's just like... She she always talks about the expensive thing, which I understand. Which I understand. Just like, it's like, it's just so so pricey out there and i'm like yeah. it's extremely expensive <laughs> like 300 percent times more than it should be how mm. expensive is the gas over in california do you know how expensive is what gas it right is now it's about over five dollars holy yeah. diesel grapes all right last, last time i got gas it was like four four eighty nine i think God. It's I like mean, to be fair, there be there be things happening in the world right now that's probably contributing to that. So, but California is mm. always really expensive. Like, it's true. Really expensive. Fucking sunshine tax. Oh, oh, yeah. Guess how much a gallon of milk is here? Okay, okay. I'll give you mine. A gallon of milk over here is like what was it last time I went to a general store? Three bucks. Three bucks sounds fair. So I'm gonna say for you maybe five bucks. Seven dollars. Yeah. Five I, to seven. Oh my I, god! Really? Yeah, depending on what type of milk you get. Fucking I mean, hell. Going to the you get, brand, you get like the quarter ones. No, but huh? no, those are like one something. But usually the the bigger ones are about two, three dollars, I thought, oh. at Ralph's. They're like four or five at least. Huh. I don't at know least. I'm not also buying a fancy, fancy milk. Gracious. I'm just getting the Ralph's brand, so you know. So most of y'all are originally from the Midwest. To go out there is that that, uh, that how I'm Sarah, thinking? Wrong. Sarah and I are both from Indiana. Born and raised in Hoosier. I'm from Minnesota. Yep. Oh. Well, technically from California, but I was raised in Minnesota. Yeah. Ah, cool. I'm from Missouri. Yeah. I mean, I'm still here, but I'm also from there. <laughs> <laughs> I was. Born in Ohio and raised in Chicago, all across Appalachia. Just pick a state. Wow. And I'm like, yeah, right there. That's why I was so pissed when 76 came out, because I'm like, oh, cool, I can point out places my uncle lives. <laughs> <laughs> and um, no, not, oh. not, not a one. <laughs> not not mm-hmm. a one. Although the landmarks are still there. It was ironic that I found, uh, it was ironic that I found a couple places down there, and I was like, yeah, this is pretty much what it's like. Not as a blown to hell pile of crap as it is now, but oh my. <laughs> this is what it yeah, this is what it looks like. <laughs> like Grafton? I've been to Grafton. Oh I've my. only lived here and I've only lived in LA and Indiana my entire life. Hmm. I I did used to go to Missouri sometimes. I'd go to St. Louis to go to the goth clubs. <laughs> <laughs> I remember hearing about this. 
Yeah, because it was the closest goth club I knew about, so I'd drive like four and a half hours to go to it and then I go back. still here. That's, That's so rad. I might just have a bunch of ghouls dressed up in goth clothes now. Do just it. To... I had, um, but yeah, I had, I was raised up in, like I was born in Ohio, I was raised up in Ohio, West Virginia, uh, Virginia, the Carolinas, and Kentucky. That was my stuff. What the fuck? The crack yeah, fox? The what? Does, that, does what? that ring any bells, Caitlin? The crack hawks? The crack fox. <laughs> the crack uh, I, mean, I, I looked. I looked up Goth Club St. Louis, and that's the first thing that comes up. What the fuck? No. Apparently, it's uh, got a four and a half star reviews. Either it's been renamed, or they have more that's than the they top used to. One. I thought it was just called like Diablo or something, like very normal. Ooh. There's a Goth Club uh, in like o three o four that a bunch of raves were at back in the day. What's a goth club uh, when like? I wore trip been? pants and whatnot? Um, what was the name of it? Spindle? I think it was Spindle. No. Spindle. Something like that. I don't. Like a club for goths, I guess. Music and shit. Reviews yeah. Just, I mean, it, reviews just say of, like, the goth bar. <laughs> Enough said. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of like uh, industrial looking stuff. Very dark. All the lighting is dark. All the music's really heavy. Uh, so a lot of fishnets and black Same old bar, sticks. different dressing. So exactly. I mean, that's what all yeah, bars are. Yeah, the fuck out of me, honestly. They Unless can't be. Yeah. Maybe you'll get an opportunity to find a goth bar once we get back into <laughs> Gateway. Nice uh, segue. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> are, we, are, we, are we ready to get back into it, everybody back here? Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, yeah. Bye, chat. Bye, chat. I don't think I heard Lanny. I'm ready to go. Uh, I think he was getting a drink. He said he was I'm, I'm here. Can you oh, not hear me? Kidding. No. No, we couldn't no. hear you. <laughs> we just, oh, you can shit. now. You're you're really quiet still. I have no idea what's wrong. Like, if I mess with that knob, I'm going to be peeking all over the place. You sound fine but... right now. Like, it's weird. I, ha I have, like, the auto-adjust thing turned off on Discord, so it shouldn't be doing that. Huh. I have you turned up at, like, 200%, and you're still quiet for me. That's weird. It I don't is know. Weird. Maybe it's mm. it, maybe it's my end. Who knows? No, he's quiet on my end and chat's end as well. Oh, uh, okay. But we can we can still hear you, and you're, you're not, like, illegible or anything. Just a little, a little quiet. Uh... I think we can we can deal. Do uh, you want to read those bits and subs? Uh, I'll save them for the end. Okay. 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 All right. So, uh, are we ready to get back into tonight's episode of Gateway? Yeah. yeah is. All right. Let's get it on. As the late afternoon sun begins to duck into the horizon, the uh, band of red light uh, highlighting the horizon uh, as the last bit of daylight is yours for maybe a couple of hours. What would you like to do? Find a safe place to sleep. Yeah, no, I'd like to see if there's a place we can go ahead and shack up for the night. Right on. Uh, uh, are you going to just look for a place right next to the Super Duper Mart here then? How long do you... We could try to make it to the Maryville University and shack up there. I'm not sure how long that would take, though. If, it, if your... it's only, like, evening and not, like, night-night... Yeah, it's not it's it's only just starting to get dark now. You've still got a little bit of sun left to work with. 
All right, so we got a little light left. Do you think we could? Let's see. Y'all think we could make it to the university? Well, we could try. I think we got a good shot of making it. All right. Well, I'm all up for that plan then. Okay. You're going to try to head over towards Maryville University. Sounds like a plan. Or the beginnings of one, anyway. Are we going to uncover any more visuals along the way? <laughs> if you if you want to go off and explore, you probably could. Um, no. From from <laughs> where you're at right now, um, options. Uh, you're about you're about nine miles out from Maryville University from where you're at right now. So on foot, it would probably take you maybe two hours. I think we can make that. Okay. Yeah. Nine yeah. miles in two hours. Yeah, we'd have to be jogging or running. We could do it. Oh, yeah. The DM says it's possible. Let's do it. Yeah. yeah. Just strap that Pokemon pedometer to your foot and just make that Pikachu work Oh, for my it. God. Those are a thing. Yes. <laughs> I mean, huh. you're, you're Wastelanders. You've done most of your traveling on foot, if not mm -hmm. all of it. It's true. We're fast. You know what it takes to get a good walk in. All right. So, let's go ahead and see where this takes us. As you march on, you're just going to go straight there? Just so I know. Unless something happens on the way. Mm -hmm. Unless something happens. I think happens. we could... Yeah, I think we could go ahead and shotgun all the way up there. Alrighty. Then you continue to move on. Okay. You you move up a little bit. Into sort of a flat a uh, stretch of road here uh, appears to be sort of like a four-way intersection. And... Uh -huh. And front man guides us to safety. Point man. Front man. Hello, uh, it's me, front man. Ew, I hate it. I'm slowly <laughs> back. <laughs> I'm the shadow self. Ew. Oh, no, it's Cynthia's other ex-boyfriend. Oh, my God, no more. <laughs> no more. One is enough. Oh, who who would be in the front right now? Uh, I'd say front me. man. Uh, front man. man. It's me, front man. I'm in the front <laughs> man. I mean, if his name is Point Man, then... Uh, where are you suddenly point getting man. front man from? <laughs> we're just... I, I said the wrong thing. <laughs> we're, we're, just, oh. we're, just, we're just walking. I just look back at Point Man going, you have a brother? <laughs> just <pulled over. laughs> some guys just leading us. <laughs> yeah, it's just some cool joint. It's like, hey, where are you going? <laughs> just... So who is leading you? Oh, uh, I, yeah, uh, me? It would either yeah. be Alvin or Apex, probably. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's usually not, it's not usually Louise. Alvin, and, then and go Paige. ahead and roll me a wits. Oh boy, here I go! Watch out for special rolls! So special, it's been the last three. If you have nothing in wits, it should probably be Apex in the future, but... 
Okay, I will shove you up ahead for as long as I draw mortal breath from now on. Well, <laughs> from from your current uh, from your current view as front man, uh, you uh, you are sort of lost in thought, and then as you're walking with the group, the sound of the asphalt uh, crunching on the ground does not block out the sound of what appears to be heavy breathing. Y'all getting tired? Alvin says as he turns back around. Cynthia looks around. Do we hear the breathing now too? Uh, As soon as Alvin, you speak up, breathing stops. I'm fine to keep going. Why? No one else heard that? Some kind of heavy breathing? Apex immediately goes into a alert state and starts using all of his senses to check around. Okay. Go ahead and roll me a wits, then. That's an 11. Uh, you don't hear any breathing, but now that you're in, now that you're alert, the flash of metal catching on what's left of the sun uh, catches your eye as you see two white razors um, running out from behind a building and charging towards you. Apex immediately yells, we have company and goes down into his like squad post and starts charging at them. All right. Alvin will lock eyes with them and just fire up his power fist and get into a boxing stance. Uh, Cynthia will aim her Rifle. All right. How far are they? Um, they were. I'd say they're a short distance away from you. They're not like, they're not close to you yet. They would probably be in range for short arms fire. Louise just does without one handed pump sh- pump to her shotgun. Oh, gonna be one of those evenings. All right. What would you like point man to do? Uh, He's like, I would assume he would well, shoot. Well, they're they're rushing towards us, but uh, uh, on the me wanting to hope that it's always the best, and everyone wants to be our friend. Uh, they're white razors. <laughs> He's like, it's like, um, um. Al- well, I'll maybe- will subconsciously tell you, but they are not your friends. <laughs> but what if they're just running away because they're scared of something? We like a bug. We be- towards we us. The, we they'll run into me and shit themselves to death. <laughs> oh, I understand now. They're just, they're running to embrace us. Yes. <laughs> Remember when they blew off your leg? Yeah. <laughs> Focus really hard on that feeling and squeeze the trigger. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I see. Mm. <laughs> Uh, Always worth consideration. Cynthia will uh, Ah. fingers at eyes, fingers at white razors, raises rifle to uh, point man. Don't have to tell me twice. All right, Apex. Uh, There are two individuals. There's one with a knife and one with a pistol. Which one are you going for? Uh, I'm going to, with my... Uh, free hand, because I'm still holding the uh, car part in my other arm. I'm going to kind of like hook out my arm and wrap my elbow around the neck of the one with the pistol and kind of like try to like reverse bulldog him down to the ground. All right. Robotic. Lerieto. Lerieto! 15! Oh, oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> You just cream him. 
you 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 go for the rainmaker and you get all of it. You don't need to maintain risk control. You your bicep connects with his neck and you hear a <laughs> as obviously something's been popped out of place and he hits the floor dead. Does this maybe make I, his I immediately companion like pause? Smirk. Sorry, go ahead. I, yeah, I, I, I drag my clawed arm around the ground, kind of like circle back and look at the one that just kept running towards everybody else. <laughs> the guy with the knife sort of freezes for a moment and then keeps running at you. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, what? It's like... For a moment, I thought of my life choices, but then I thought, nah. He, yeah, he sort yeah. of like, he sort of like looks briefly and then like flips the knife around in his grip and he's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> nope, I chose violence. I woke up today, <laughs> that's what I chose. <laughs> Record scratch. I guess you're wondering how I got in this situation. Oh well, my God. This is uh, not what, this is right to Apex, Yeah, this isn't even what Apex would call a deterrent kill. He has <laughs> ideas for that in his head. Uh, bring us around to Alvin. All right. Man is running Dude. at you with a knife. Running at me with a knife? Ah, oh, mm -hmm. cool. Uh, we're going to go ahead and clear the ground. If you box your strides, go low, and then uppercut right off the power fist. Alvin okay. is not dealing with that. Body roll, Eight. please. Boo! 11. Yo. Absolutely. Uh, it looked like he was sort of reaching around, uh, when he stopped, he reached towards, like, a belt to pull out a canister of something, but as you, he, he doesn't notice you getting close, you duck and weave, and you hit the power fist, and as it goes off, he just flies, like, a good two feet into the air before he lands back on the ground. His head is snapped back, and he is... D E A D dead. Oh. Dad. They didn't have a time to drug up. <clears throat> Brother. Louise is all ready to go and she just watches two bodies fly into the air and she's just like, <laughs> well, shit. I don't even know what I'm here for. <laughs> Ooh, I'm going to go loot a body. Yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, you should go ahead and loot him. I'm just, I'm just gonna stay here for reasons. All right. Just pause. You okay? I don't, I don't want to find any drugs on him. All right. That's, oh. Mm. Dro Louise actually sort of drops the jovial and gives him a pat. All right, you're okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. I just saw that jet back at the museum, and I, I felt things. Mm. Gives him a pat and she'll go off to the guy who had the knife who is now has his head dangling over his shoulders. That was a swell uppercut, though. I, I, whoo, I, man. Oh, no. Alvin, that was chef's kiss. Tex, go over to the thoroughly dead white razor. Um, on his body, you find a butcher knife. Ooh, appears to be in, in mild disrepair. You find a single use of jet. Oh. And you find, uh, you find. Uh, remind me what Jet does again. What are the stats on that? If you use it, you can take another action during your oh. turn. Whoa. However, there is a slight chance for bad things to occur. Well, obviously. Uh, she will covertly pocket the Jet. Just because, okay. you know, she doesn't want Alvin to see. But uh, what else did you say? Uh, nine caps on him. Ooh, some caps. Hmm. I haven't had caps for a while. Oh, I mean, I haven't. Uh, nine caps. Oh, that's perfect. That brings me to... Where's my edit button? Okay. Got it. So it was jet, nine caps, and... Did you say something before the jet, or did I miss a, that? A oh, butcher knife. knife. Yeah, it's, it's not a hatchet, but Louise will take it. Thinks wistfully of her hatchet buried in a power box, burned away. <laughs> she still misses it. <laughs> the bravest hatchet ever. <laughs> uh, and I'm That's assuming great. one of you, one of you checks the other guy as well. I'm assuming. 
Yeah, Apex is already there uh, with the guy he basically decapitated without removing the flesh. Good lord. Nice. Uh, That's a six. Apex doesn't know what he's looking for. He's just... You... Yeah. Obviously, he he's no got hit. Yeah. He Actually, no now that I... The gun, so. Now that I think about it, you didn't make me roll for those items. Hmm. Hmm. Do you want... Uh, okay. Did <laughs> did you don't want to want him taken away retroactively? But it feels unfair. <laughs> you know what? Just for kissing and do anyway. <laughs> okay, eleven. I would have gotten that. Right. I feel better. Continue. Proceed. Uh, yeah. Apex, you don't really find much on him. The pistol that he had in his hand must have got flung somewhere. You hit him like a truck. He was not ready for the apex. <laughs> Few people Shit. really are. Apex nods sagely. Soka. Soka. <laughs> Soka. Soka. I just want to believe every time you say that there's like a disembodied voice in the distance going, Soka. Soka. <laughs> this is the, uh, the spectral image of Gaijin Goomba looking very disappointed. <laughs> oh my god. Look, Gaijin, don't judge me, okay? None of us. <laughs> He's already mad at me. He fought me in Project Hell. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, that ends that little encounter. And you continue moving. Moving on her. Moving on her. To the north side. Moving on her. You. Like... Sorry. I like killing raiders. They have good oh. stuff. Yay. Oh my god. <laughs> right in front of <laughs> Alvin. <laughs> <laughs> that was hey, that was Louise's inner yes, voice. Yay. She wants to believe. She wants to believe that's a little tune that Phil's come up with. She's just like humming along with it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you you continue humming and walking up. Uh, you, on this stretch of road, you pass by what might have once been a pretty expensive-looking neighborhood. Uh, now, blasted out and blown to shit, however. Uh, but nothing else seems to occur in this leg of the journey. You continue moving on. It's sort of starting to get a bit darker now. Um, the sun setting over the horizon uh, now just has the faintest sliver of light left as you continue down this large stretch of road. To the right of you, uh, and to the left of you, actually, there appear to be um, several dead bushes all lined up next to each other, sort of blocking off this uh, small section of road. Yep. No. What? What? I said Jeb. No. Jeb. <laughs> Jeb. Yes. <laughs> if we um put our arms behind us and crouch while running, will we get there faster? We mm. Nart running? Mm -hmm. Nart run? <laughs> is that not how you're already running? Apex is doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Just every everyone everyone's Naruto running and Point Man's like, what's happening? Let's <laughs> just oh run at a General pace. Uh. <laughs> yeah, point man's like, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> and he just starts not running to. <laughs> How have you survived this long? Um, <laughs> but <laughs> as you continue walking past these uh, old, decrepit houses and neighborhoods, um, still nothing is bothering you on this particular leg of the journey, you are in sight 
of the Maryville University now. You can see it off in the distance. Uh, a bit of your old stomping ground from uh, earlier in this adventure. God, it's been ages. Oh, familiar sets. Those dorms should still be usable yet. Speaking of familiar sites, uh, I assume Apex is now leading the pack. Yes. Yes. Make me a, make me a witch roll. Ten. Easily enough. It's a sight. Speaking of familiar sights, sort of crouched over a red mass whose form you can just barely make out with the faintest sliver of light left. Um, you see the softly glowing animalistic eyes of about five feral ghouls crouched over a mass of meat. Oh. <sighs> Apex, like, kind of, like, going about this sneakily, will make his way, uh, will kind of, like, signal for point man. He'll nod and he'll slowly raise up his rifle and aim down the sights. Do they... I thought ferals sometimes wouldn't attack the non-ferals. They won't attack me, but they'll attack the rest of you. Are they, like, right in our way to the university, or is there a way to get around them? They appear to be blocking your path forward. If you want to go around them, that is also something you can do. Do these ferals look tamed like they might be with somebody, or are they simply wild? Ferals don't get tamed, buddy. He thinks back to the uh, international airport and how those ghouls were controlled. That was a bit weird, wasn't it? Yeah, Louise has the same thought process, but she's not going to say anything. Apex thinks, like, Apex just thought to himself that that's just how they worked, but now he's questioning everything. <laughs> how much longer would it take us to get to the university if we tried to go stealthily around them? You would probably lose what little light you have left, which is, can be dangerous, but you are pretty much there. It's up to you. Do we sneak, or are we getting into a fight? How many ghouls are there? There are five. Four? Five. Five of them. I was so confident about four. I was <laughs> <laughs> like, it's four. Absolutely. The okay. Remember the brownie incident? <laughs> yes. Okay, that's a story for later. I got to Yeah, that. it is. All right. <laughs> I'd say... I'd say... If we sneak around, we might be able to find a towpath we could get, use to get to the university instead. I'd how say it'd be how, better to save our ammo if we can. How close are they to the university? Like, are they... If, if you were... If you were wanting to get a direct access to the university, they would be in your path, so you would either have to sneak around them or try to find another way in. They're they're positioned in such a way where it would be difficult to go unnoticed if you wanted to use the front entrance. Uh, probably better to avoid a fight if we can, but if we have to fight, we will. Let's swing around and see if there's another way in. All right. So you are changing directions and uh, trying to find a different way in. At this point, the sun has set. Uh, there's the faint illumination of uh, stars in the sky. Lightly illuminated is the moon starting to come out, but it will be a bit a bit easier for certain things to happen at this time of night. Mm-hmm. Is the witching hour.
It's when the, it's when the feral ghouls of party hats show up. So the moon is out. Uh, the moon is out and slightly illuminating your surroundings. As you as you loop around to try and navigate past this group of ferals. You see in uh you see in front of you off in the distance uh about two more wandering feral ghouls. And I'm going to need some quits rolls if you're going to want oh. to go unnoticed. That's yep. a six this time. Absolutely. That's ten. Uh uh eleven. Eight. Okay. <clears throat> I'll roll for point man. Please do. Thought I heard those battle trumpets queuing up. Oh god, no. <laughs> um Well, point man failed. Oh. A- Apex also failed. Hmm. Uh Alvin got a minor success. Louise and Cynthia got major successes. So I'm going to count that it's as a success balanced. for the group. Woohoo! Yeah, thank God. You managed to you've you've been around enough ghouls at this point to know sort of how they work and how to get around them. If you don't make too much noise, you can easily slip past them, and that is precisely what you do. Uh, however, there is a, still a worrying number of ghouls outside of the Maryville University at the current moment, but you do make Yay. it. Oh, thank God. <sighs> you are. Inside the university, I need. I need better Me. music. That Freeform is not jazz. what I want. <laughs> that is not what I want. Freeform jazz. Freeform uh, jazz. You return once again to the Maryville University. Is this where we met the uh, golf tribe? I think you met them a, a little bit away from here, but uh, yes. This is where we met the. I, I feel like this is where we met the uh, former. Oh, okay. We were on our way to Clayton Legionnaire. Mm-hmm. This is the where you met someone who may have had some relation to Caesar's Legion of Long Past. Oh, that's you, right. Mm-hmm. You come across the uh, beige. Brick column building uh, with broken out glass panels, and you return to Maryville University. Well, say let's find some place bro- relatively secure to bunk down for the night. Those dorms worked fine last time. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go ahead and. Which way were they again? That way, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah, those digs weren't too bad. Alrighty then. You head on in. And... As you do, you see some familiar sights and places where you can uh, hunker down for the evening. Sort of the uh, mostly white and red decorated interior. Uh, We'll provide you shelter for the night. There we are. Because Cynthia doesn't sleep... She's going to just, not too far away, but, like, wander around and kind of scavenge during the night. Okay. Well, let's see will... what you... Oh, sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say, let's see what you find, then. Uh... Witz roll? That would be a witz roll, yes. Thirteen. Oh. Hot damn. Wow! Let's see what you find, indeed. How about da 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 
Say that and expect us to believe him. Wow. <laughs> what? Hang on. I'm <laughs> dying. <laughs> As you're She's looking crying. around, uh -huh. you your foot sort of smacks against some something metal. Uh, uh huh. Like an like an like a tin of something. Okay. <laughs> and as you look down, you see sort of like a square aluminum tin that has a piece of masking tape um, covering the front of it. And it just says X, the, the letter X hyphen plosives do not open in what looks to be uh, someone who can't quite read or write very well's handwriting. Uh. Uh. <laughs> I mean, you already kicked it. It's true. You just kicked it and nothing happened. Okay. Um... I don't want to open it, but I'm scared to move it. <laughs> I kicked it? You kicked it. She'll immediately back away once she realizes what it is. You don't feel any explosions. Oh my god. <laughs> um, you, really, you really don't. It just sits there. Uh... She's gonna find like a, a something long, okay, to like uh, poke it with at a safer could, distance. You could probably, you could probably get like a table leg or something to to poke at okay. it from a distance. You poke uh -huh. and you prod it, and nothing happens, other than that it it sort of jostles when you move it. Okay. Does it? What sounds? What does it sound like? In, it sounds like, like there's on the inside. Definitely a lot of, a lot of things inside it that rattle around. Okay. Um. She's gonna. She's gonna. Um. She's gonna carefully take the the single piece of masking tape off. And like stick it to her thumb. <laughs> okay. And like Literally back up. Very hearing too, Caitlin. And, like you get, get you take it off. And just like very like cut not fully unseal it, but enough that she could like poke it with a stick from far away and flip the lid open. <laughs> because the blast radius won't be farther than your well, I can be around the corner and do it. So I'll do it from like around a corner. Okay. That's not so, a so, 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 well, describe, describe for me once again what you're trying to do to get this okay. thing open. So, what she'd do is she'd find a very sturdy, like, stone wall mm -hmm. to like hide behind. She would put it. Like up and angle the the lid of it like away from her. She'd she'd have it kind of popped so that all she'd have to do is poke it with a stick, and would like from around the corner, like barely keep an eye, and just with the stick go. Boop. Try to pop it off. Yeah. Okay. Give me a wits roll for this. Oh no, I've done too many good rolls. Goodbye, world. Eleven! Yay. Okay. You your plan goes off without a hitch and you hear 
as <gasps> the lid uh, appears to have popped off this tin thing. You wait for a moment tentatively and nothing happens. Okay. I'm glad in the event of an explosion, Cynthia would have been okay, because, you know, the rest of us would have been dead. Oh, yeah, no. She, she would have been... <laughs> you forget about Point Man and everyone else who's just still in the open? You no, just... no, no, they're not... They're, she's, like, wandering Curiosity around. Curiosity killed the bot. <laughs> You're, like, the equivalent of, like, that... I think it was The Simpsons where Mr. Burns puts on the frickin' radiation vest while Homer doesn't get anything, because it's like, it's fine. Well, yeah, you you guys aren't, aren't close enough for me to be concerned about you all. Just the front part of Cynthia's Simpsons again is just blown off, and we're just and she, we're just like anything happened last night. She's like, no, nope. Uh, so <laughs> oh. she she's gonna poke it once more just to double check that it didn't not like hard, just a little bit. You you hear the metallic jangle of a bunch of little things inside of the now open tin. Okay. She will beep around the corner and like very carefully walk over and look inside without touching it. I rolled for this. Inside of this tin, you find 102 bottle caps. What? <laughs> okay, so Connor, if she had just rolled poorly in that last wits roll, it would have made a fucking difference, would it? Nope. <laughs> oh my I god! Know, I'm learning! <laughs> oh, it feels good. Mm. Yeah. I think I can do with this. Oh, if I had a heart, it'd be going at a million miles an hour. Oh. I would slap a hair off your chin right now, Connor, <laughs> no. for the heart rate that you've sent me through. There are plenty of them. <laughs> I know. <sighs> Defiant. God. Feels good. <sighs> okay, now I can breathe again. I was so worried is he's gonna be like, yeah, you blew your arm off. Good job. <laughs> Sorry, I was I was I was rolling and I was looking at my chart and I'm like, oh you're kidding me. <laughs> You sounded so like incredulous about it, so I was like, "What? What? It sounded good though. Why is it bomb?" I, I rolled a hundred and two on my on on my D one hundred on my percentile die. No way. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Yay! <laughs> Just pours, shakes the tin into her bag. You can add a hundred and two bottle caps to your inventory. Think I will. <laughs> that is, that is quite the hefty amount to be lugging around, and and you can do quite a bit of things with that much. <gasps> dosh. Oh, rocket launcher. <laughs> oh, the fun gun. Someday the it will be yours. It will one day. Cynthia's gonna get one. Yeah. Well. Is there any other snooping around you would like to do? I mean, can I? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll just give you the night. one. I think I'll just give you the one for the night. You're, you're, you're like, it, I take it back. You can't snoop no more. Go to bed. Good night. Snooping <laughs> is mean, usual, you suck. I no see? more caps for you. Any snooping can be done by anyone else in the morning. I mean, Louise is just going to take a corner and bed down and sort of be mumbling to herself, or Phil. Apex finds a bed and curls into a bean. Oh. Aw. For those of you Louis that sleep... Of, could I, uh, I was just gonna... Louise just sort of like, no, I don't know. Uh, could sell it, could trade it, keep it for a rainy day. I don't know what constitutes a rainy day, Phil. I'm just saying. I haven't decided yet. Well, anyway, night, kid. Evan's going to lean into a bed with his hands behind his head. Just the firm... <clears throat> conk out almost immediately. For those of you who sleep, 
you get a full night's rest. And you can, if you're missing health, you can heal one. Oh, sweet. I'm not. <laughs> Am I? Let's find out. <laughs> Still have my super duper new armor. And the sun rises on a brand new day. Did you bring your alarm clock with you? No, no. Okay. I left that, I left that in Riverside because I'm back in Riverside. <laughs> <laughs> but you all individually awaken to silence, blissful silence. As a rolling wind blows through some of the cracked and busted out windows of the Miraville University. Uh, Louise will down a deviled egg for breakfast as she sort of wakes herself up. Tastes like preservatives and paprika. Also probably not the best thing to put eat first thing in the morning, but what are you going to do? The best thing to eat in the morning eats another egg. <laughs> eat some squirrel on a stick. Excellent. Cynthia offers everyone her pepperoni pizza MRE. We'll take a little bit of that. Oh yeah. A mm. pencil as well, if offered. Sure, I'll take Yeah, it. oh yeah. Yeah. This is this is the uh Deviled eggs and pepperoni pizza. This is great. She, Man. she, uh, this is like her celebratory dinner. <laughs> We're winning the jackpot and busting not getting the, blown up. Busting out the big, uh, the big meals. I take it. Uh, oh, yeah. Point Man, uh, smirks. I remember when they were passing these things out. Seems like the right time to, uh, have a nice meal. Hmm. Well, we did succeed on our mission. We just got to get back to Riverside now. Well, I'd say we more than succeeded. And she, uh, <laughs> kind of, she stares at, at James and kind of, like, does a tiny hop. Like, purposefully jangling the, the caps. <laughs> if if you do that in front of everybody, he'll sort of cock his head. It's like, what happened last night? Did something shake loose? Does somebody need to? I, I'm I'm not damaged, Apex. I I found what I I thought might have been an explosive, and it turned out it was quite a bit of money. Yeah, All like those some caps. About a hundred and two of them. <laughs> you what? That's all. <laughs> uh, I had a very uh productive night, one might say. Ah, oh, son of a bitch! I... Louise is gonna go like, I need to go scavenging. I need to just go. <laughs> she's feeling very sad that she is not doing her do best scavenging lately. The fuck did I miss that many cat? Mm -hmm. Well, to be fair, I did think I was going to lose a limb once again to get it, but, uh, you know, I'll make sure we're provided for and all that good stuff. No, it's all my fine. Family. You, you provide, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Just grumble, grumble, <laughs> offers, grumble. Offers more pizza. <laughs> 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 no, just like don't patronize me. <laughs> it's kind of yeah. This is the slapping duct tape on it pizza party. <laughs> just for shits, I want to roll a regular what's roll to see if there's something else. She's just like I'm not gonna be out done with my own damn job. Come on, man. <laughs> okay, if you'd like to, you can go snooping around here. Apex is going to twelve. Oh. Nice. Oh, nice. Hey. Right on. What's Apex going to be doing? Uh, he's going to go check the library and see if somebody's taken his uh, the comic that he <laughs> left here last time. <laughs> okay. Um, Louise, uh, what would you be... Where where would you be looking for, for something to grab onto? Oh, Just, anywhere? Um, Just anywhere? Just anywhere? I don't remember Generally? the layout of this place. 
Uh, uh, sh- sure, Mr. Dungeon Master. Yeah. Alrighty. <laughs> Um, there. Hmm? Oh, oh, I, like no, I was just asking. I was just well, asking. I, like, I just don't remember the layout of this place. It's like, um, was there an upstairs? Was there? A, I don't remember. Oh my god! Oh, wow. You're gonna get fucking. Okay. Hang on. What? 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 What'd I get? What'd I get? I swear to God, if this. Oh my god! I swear to God. What did I no get? No way! What did I get? Gimme, 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 gimme. Squeezy hands, yeah. squeezy hands, squeezy okay. hands. Okay, all right, all right, okay. Um, <laughs> you managed to, uh, as you're wandering around, it just sort of catches your eye a, a bit. The the morning sun glinting off uh, several points of gold uh, as you look over and you see... Um, some pretty, um, well-preserved, uh, electronic circuit boards that look like they could be used to maybe build something, uh, pretty intricate. Ooh. So you can add How scrap many? electronics, uh, one, okay. one scrap electronics to your inventory. I would know that this is, this is a pretty good thing to find. You would know that... For the right buyer, this could be uh, pretty good. Uh, it does. There is a bit of gold in it. That that's worth. Uh, that's just worth enough on its own. But yes, there is also uh, value in someone who may be more mechanically inclined to find some use for this. Louise trademark grin. <laughs> Oh, I feel better now. Hey, Alvin! What are the fucking odds oh. I roll over a hundred twice on my percentile dice? This is a Dude, that's you awesome! Might. You're, not, you're not using roll 20, so... Oh. I, I've, I oh. see the problem. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it this whole time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Louise will saunter up to Alvin and just be like, uh, my praising's a little rusty, but, uh, what do you think this goes for? Oh. Big. Ooh. 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 Just set down his meal and lightly take the things in his hands. Oh, wow. Are these intact? There's no way these can be intact. Now you tell me. The hill one hold it up to the light and just squint. Roll smarts for me, Alvin. Brainium! 13. Ooh, As wow. you use your brainium, uh, these scraps are in remarkably um, good quality and uh, don't appear to be damaged at all. This could probably go into something relatively complex. Um, it's not really yours or Point Man's or any of the machinist's specialties, but this could probably be used to either... Uh, program some sort of machine. Or robot, possibly, even. Can't believe you found these in such good condition. How many of them are there? Just the one. Wow. Yeah, you could use this for all kinds of stuff. Uh, computers, robots, guidance systems, maybe guidance systems? He looks over. He looks over. Point man, like, did, did I say that right? Guidance system. Or something. Didn't you one of you pick up like a targeting chip or something? Uh, I had found uh, something a military grade circuit board. I'm no expert, but I think boss man could probably uh, use some of that stuff right there. He could probably create 
some sort of automated turret or something. No. Yeah, uh, with yeah, with that and this, it's possible. Maybe. Yeah. No, I'm gonna stop myself right there. <clears throat> Thank God! And here I thought I was losing my touch. <sighs> oh thought, man! Puts that in her thing. You watch <clears throat> out for that, Phil. That one's a keeper. Hmm. Phil rattles in acknowledgement. <laughs> nice buddy. But to that same degree. Um. Hey, Miss Cynthia. Yes. I don't mean to be forward, but do can all y'all benefit from stuff like this too? Since? Mm-hmm. That's right. That's actually what I stopped myself from saying. I'm I'm not too sure myself. Hmm. Um, if I could implant a weapon, I mean, it would be convenient, for sure. We were talking about doing that, too. We were. I mean, no harm in going to talk to Boss Man and see what we can do. Be nice to have a covert option. Hmm, and you're holding that military, and you're holding that military board. Yeah. Louise, would it be okay if Cynthia holds on to this board, too? Just keep them together. Oh. Huh. Yeah, yeah, sure. I suppose she's better choice than me. I'm, you know, squishy. <laughs> well, you can hold on to it. I just... If if it could be turned into something, if you're all right with parting with it. Yeah, I mean, you yeah. found it. Here you go. Hey, if it's something that helps us go up against the family or whatever else the fuck we're going to come up against, I'm down for that. Yeah, yeah let's all take it. this stuff and go to Boss Man. Just maybe. Just maybe. Yeah. Doesn't hurt to try. What a haul. I can't, I can't believe you found one in such good condition. I'm surprised you didn't find it in a box. <laughs> it just grins at Asa. Like, oh, Alvin, you say the sweetest things. <laughs> oh, thank you. I try. I try. Ooh, man, this is good. Mm. Oh, yeah, before we go. Uh, anybody need their armor tooled up? Well, once I am set. Uh, I think, uh, my armor, it is, it is down a little bit. A little bit? A little bit. A little oh. bit. Let me see if I, let me see if I can't fix a date. I will use the, can we fix it to do the, the fixing. Okay. Uh, Roll in uh, smarts, I believe, for can we yep. fix it? Yep. All right. Uh, boop, nine. Sweet. Uh, Woo! Nine, the target can be either restored by 25% of its armor in that time frame. Yeah. Yeah. So, yep. So I'd be back up to full on my armor? Yeah, from how this uh, from how this skill reads out. Sweet. Mm hmm. Unless you want me to do patch job, considering we're in the field and we're not really at a workshop or anything. You want me to do that instead? <laughs> do you want me to send you both of the skills? <laughs> uh, oh, no, are, either, are you either talking one. To me? Whatever. Yeah, I, I, I was thought talking it was to you. Talking to Connor. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, talking to you. I mean,. I believe can we fix it can also restore armor. It's just yes, it can it's, be it's, done over a, over a longer period. I think patch job okay. is more what you would be looking for for a short okay. term. Okay, then Cynthia so, would get one armor. You restore one armor. I will adjust. <clears throat> Go. And that is the magic of filler putty for right now. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, of course. Let's see. Apex, Portman, how's your armor looking? I'll be able to go ahead and give it a spin. Uh, there is an outline where Apex should be. He is not there. He's in the library. 
Oh, uh, right. Add... I completely <laughs> just forgot. Like outline. <laughs> Let One us of those get... blinking outlines. Everyone like, forgets can't, about can't, the can't, Apex. Can't. And oh. it's too late. Everyone says, where's Apex, but never, how's Apex? Never, As... why is Apex? <laughs> why is Apex? <laughs> um... Hmm. <laughs> um, go ahead and make me a wits roll, Apex. I'd be checking the exact spot where I left the uh, comic, but let's see. Mm -hmm. That's an eight. Okay. I wish I was playing one of the Warhammer systems right now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sure enough, you walk down to where you're pretty sure you left your comic last time, but you don't see it. Apex smiles to himself. He turns and walks and heads back towards the group. All right. <laughs> As the Apex rejoins your group. You've got a full day ahead of you. Oh, yeah. Tell I would probably do patch job and anyone else who would want their armor repaired. But other than that, that's pretty much all I'd be doing. Apex still has full armor. He took the shots from the Protectron squarely to the jaw. How's Point Man's armor looking? Uh, Point Man's armor looks like it was <laughs> pretty roughed up. Point Man, want me to take a look at your uh, flat jack real quick? Uh, yeah, sure, but, you know... Probably shouldn't linger too long here. We're burning daylight. And no problem. This will just take a second. Alrighty. All right. Fourteen. Excellent. Ooh, wow. He could, he could two armor. To to go ahead and uh, acquiesce to him to us saving time. Um, I am basically going to take two scrap plates that I have, and I'm going to shunt one into one side of the flak jacket and the other one to the other side of the flak jacket. He has two armor. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, it works. Uh, he is his armor is back up to nearly full working capacity. <clears throat> there you go. That should keep you going until we get back to Riverside. Yeah, thanks. No problem. Play too heavy. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, oh, Alvin. Yeah, no, it's fine. I can work. I can work with this. All right. Fantastic. Fantastic. All right. Let's get going. Woohoo! All right. If there's nothing else, then you all head off. Yep. Uh -huh. Um. Hmm. As you exit the building, uh, you notice the, the pack of ghouls that were outside of the university are now gone. The pile of meat they were eating, I'm guessing, has been reduced to bone. Mostly bone. Appears to be a dead Brahmin of some sort. Apex thinks back to Pepper. Yeah, it's like, hopes oh. that it's not Pepper. Of course, I think Kirk would be fighting them if that were the case. <sighs> <laughs> Have one feral ghoul in his arm as a flail smashing the other ones. Anything can happen here in the wasteland. But, worries aside, you march on. You make your way out of the university grounds and begin heading upward.
on your way, you do actually pass by the old St. Luke's Hospital. How does oh. it seem? Um, or not? As you pass by it, you do... Make me... Make me waste rolls. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Nine. Apex, not, Apex does not seem to care about the hospital. Fair enough. Fourteen. Oh, oh it's Jesus. perfect! Yay! All right. Oh, my uh, God. Apex doesn't seem to have much interest. However, the rest of you uh, do notice there appears to be a bit of a buzz around the... Uh, around St. Luke's now. Um... It appears that there are various uh, green uniformed individuals going in oh. and out, and uh, there are patrols set up around the building as well. Uh, Louise, you notice. And walks by. <laughs> you notice it mostly consists of ghouls. Oh. I guess Gov's people got here. St. Luke's looks like Harbingers are going in and out of it. Well, I suppose they're welcome to it. Hopefully that means he's doing all right, though. Seemed like a decent guy. Oh, yeah, he was well talked to. No, I don't think we should disturb them, so maybe we should just keep moseying on. I would agree. It looks like that place is bumping, though. And a mosey you do. A fine mosey. A fine moseying. <laughs> is what you continue to do. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! No other problems, thank God. Nobody can stop my mosey. <laughs> I was about to say, I have like some coconut has for hooves if you want me to be like dun dun dun. <laughs> you pass through some what looks to be some secluded houses, uh, uh, long sort of single story ranch style houses that are have these absolutely huge yards uh, and they're spaced far between each other looks like it was uh, another pretty uh, expensive neighborhood uh, unaccosted however by anything as you Continue to move forward, eventually out of this neighborhood, you go into more of a uh, sort of shopping center-esque part of the road. We're kind of close to Westport. Isn't that where the family is, like, headquartered or something? I remember that being a... I yep. Assume we're going the same route we came to get down here, which was specifically so we could avoid like the family and stuff. I was yeah. under that. I was under that assumption as well. Uh, you do I pass see. by Westport, but you 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 also pass by on your way here as well. All right. Uh, specifically around this area, I'd be keeping my eye out for any wandering family scouts or anybody in those uniforms. Yeah. Right on. As you pass yeah, by the area. Yeah. Uh, you are sort of keeping extra special vigil as you wander through what is pretty much family territory, and yet you don't see anything. As your trek continues unabated, you see the uh, site that you saw before, the sort of ringed W that stands for Westport as you walk by sort of uh, rather nice looking kind of village uh, circled by a large pond that is mostly dried up now but still reflects the sunlight the 
the a little bit of the hustle and bustle of the ant-sized figures you can see off in the distance. But you continue on down the road. Uh, you come up to sort of a, a roundabout, sort of like a four-leaf clover-shaped uh, intersection of oh. this road. Those things make me so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so nervous. Roundabouts are just anxiety donuts for cars. I don't like Yes. Them. Especially the ones in St. Louis or in this area. <laughs> we so had above one, the ground. We had one in my hometown and it may as well have had a sign below the roundabout that said good luck. Like, you know, it's just mm. they, they keep yeah. putting more and more of them in Indiana where I where I li used to live. Roundabouts are scary. Apex, you're keeping extra special vigil around this area, so why don't you go ahead and roll me a wits? Nine. Right on. You... No. <laughs> no. Well, Nine. can't do much about that. <laughs> you come up to sort of an you're walking under an overpass and apex you pause as off in the distance in the shadows as the midday sun overhead uh, hangs high above you uh, the shadows are most thick uh, but you can see figures moving around in it and quite a lot of them. I hold my hand up to, you know, kind of like a halt motion. And then I point out the figures that I can't quite make out. Hmm. Does it look like they're waiting for us or are they just, do they notice us? Uh, you make me a wits roll. Yeah. Uh, oh, seven. Just barely. That's a success. Minor success. As, as they're pointed out to you, the figures appear to uh, freeze momentarily and then uh, sort of slink off into more of the darker parts of this, uh, the shadows of this overpass. The shapes humanoid, or are they too far away to even really make out their shape? With your roll, they uh, do appear to be vaguely humanoid. So, the uh, the overpass that's that's where we met. Uh, what's his face before? Yeah, what's his face? <laughs> the zombie, the the attractive one. Oh, buddy, <laughs> don't use that word. Fuck. <laughs> the cock. <laughs> Is that the name you're looking for? Bach, yes. You're talking yeah, it's cool. the steamy dreamboat zombie, Bach. It was the eyes. It was That's the eyes. skin called me a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is um, around the area, though, yes. Dreamy, don't forget. I said dreamy. kind of basically disappeared underneath the overpass that we're going to have to go over. You went over the overpass last time, but now that you're sort of approaching it, you do see figures on the up on the bottom side of it, vaguely moving around. Hmm. I think they see us. They just kind of took cover under the shadows. I don't know if I like this. Point. We can try to go you over it. Scope. Does Point Man have a scope? He does have a scoped rifle, yes. Can you make anything out? <sighs> Let me take a look. Eesh. He sort of he sort of raises the rifle up and tries to 
look through, but he just shakes his head. Nah, the sun's too high in the sky. Those shadows are right on him. I can't make out heads or tails. And they're in our path. They are. They're under under our path, anyway. No, we are, uh, like, they are in our way. I thought they were under the overpass, but we need to go over the overpass. So, well, we're under it. We're traveling by under it, I think, this time, is what Connor said. Oh, okay, okay. You could go over it if you wanted to, but mm -mm. there are things under it. No. <laughs> there are things under the underpass. Is it? Would you like to go over the underpass? Oh. My real world is nervous about going on the <laughs> the overpass. Uh, Don't worry, there's not as much traffic now as there used to be. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you do have you do have options here. However, you are in between a couple of areas that are mostly predominantly occupied by the family and some other possibly nefarious what? groups. What about veering sort of northwestish or uh never northeast just towards the airport? The ghouls seem nicer than the family. Apex is torn by his love of the hunt. <laughs> oh my god. So uh, I wanna bank into like I wanna see if I can ping on this map. So you wanna go ahead and go into this square and then Yeah. The yeah. That's an option. Yes. Well I mean if I was looking and there's a bunch of <laughs> under an over underpass, and on the overpass we'd be you know seen by anybody with eyes uh yeah no that seems like something i'd want to do yes apex Me thinks i want to feels like an square apex will yield to majority decision let it not be said that apex does not follow democracy that something to do connor can we kind of go that way direction instead i may be the apex but i'm also an american <laughs> oh my god. Da, 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 da. Just as many explosions as you can. Just what were you asking? <laughs> Thinks back can to we, the Liberty Can we do Prime that? Can we sort computer. of veer northeastish? Yeah. You can you can go yeah, around go if you'd like. The, uh, you know, square kind of, to the square. Go into kind of go unknown territory. The... Right on. Uh -huh. We've done it before at the start. Let's get That's another true. square on this map. Yeah. I want to get Fuck the it. completionist achievement. Yeah. You channel the spirit of Gerard Khalil as you uh, decide ah! discretion is a part of valor and loop around. May have been a wise decision. You loop around to the other side of this overpass, deciding that it probably isn't worth dealing with whatever was underneath that bridge. You see now a ito on a um a rather large set of buildings uh, off on the horizon as you. Uh, walk around this overpass and cut on through the other side here. Uh, if any of you would care to notice, uh, I care to notice I, any and everything. That sounds that like can. a roll. You I see. <laughs> Go for it. I'm looking Are respectfully. Eight. Are we rolling it? Is this the wits? Eleven. Seven, if this is wits. Nine. Yes, wits. Um, yeah. Uh, you see 
the large silvery reflective glass uh, that appears to be uh, showing a portrayal of the blue skyline here, uh, as long as as well as the midday sun. Uh, and at the very tippy top of the building, you see the words uh, uh, James Edward. James Edward. James Edward. Those are two first names. <laughs> well done. <laughs> what what direction is this building? Um, since you are moving around the overpass, it was directly in front of you. So to the north. To the north, yes. Is it in this empty square ahead of us? It is in the square that you. Uh, uh yeah, it is in it is in the uh, square directly ahead of you. Oh, interesting. So we're, like, right in front of it. Interesting. Yep. Let me just go ahead and reveal it for you, if you would like. Please? But nice. As Please. I grab Ooh, something real square. quick. <gasps> oh, my it's God. It's a building. It is a building. I'm going to search it. So this search. is like a skyscraper? Search it with your hands. Not anymore. Uh, it, is a, it is a large series of buildings. <laughs> I see just the tip of what you were typing, and it looked like, oh! Huh! Huh! <laughs> HQ. Now I get it. Well, we're going that way. Anybody want to take a look-see? Uh, yeah. well, on the other hand, those guys under the overpass might still be watching. Maybe we should keep moving. <laughs> With my 11, did I notice any signs of life or anything kind of crawling around this area or those buildings? From what you could gather, you didn't really see anybody hanging around on the outside of the building. And the inside of the building is a bit too dark to notice anybody that would be sort of patrolling around on the inside. It appears to be mostly abandoned. Right. And the glass itself is kind of mirrored. Yeah, it's reflective and it, it shows a uh, several square depictions of the of the mid-morning sky. <laughs> so long as we aren't afraid of it taking too much time. Just a quick in and out look. Sounds good to me. All right. All right. You make your way towards the James Edward HQ building. You you come across this rather large set of buildings. Um, sort of look like office buildings, as a matter of fact. Um, as... Uh, you approach, you see in, in big, bold font on the outside of the front entrance, James Edward. All right. Um, large sort of, uh, uh, structurally a lot similar to the Maryville University building. Um, the mirrored panels that aren't there are replaced by glass panels where you can see fully into the inside of this, uh, Large building. Uh, appears to be a bunch of office spaces as well. So a business business. Yeah. <laughs> For business. A business. 
<laughs> I'm a businessman with my big business briefcase. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Would you head inside? Yes. Briefly. Yeah, I'll go ahead and head on it. That sounds, yeah, sure. Let me go ahead Who knows yeah. what we're Take a peek inside. Lane. I assume we're going in the front door. Oh, yeah. Just okay. do that thing where you sort of open the door and peek inside first and gauge the situation. You enter the front door of the James Edwards headquarters building. Uh, bits of broken metal and glass layer the floor briefly and it crunches underneath your feet. Um, this large, large office space looks like it could take quite a while to search through. And you'll search through it in the next episode no. of Gateway. Yeah! Adios, Astorino. Oh, bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Have bye. a goodbye, Austin. What? All righty. Well done, everyone. Wahoo! That was a productive session. Yeah, it was. You made so much money. Did so oh. much. A lot went into that. I rolled several percentile dice and also a d20 just to see if you found anything. Uh. You, <laughs> you found. You found something. Hang on. Let me. Let me. Let me just. Episode twenty-two, go. right? Yeah. Yes, episode 22. Um, I, I rolled on my crafting table uh -huh. after after I just, after it was decided that you even found anything. Uh -huh. And then I rolled bottle cap. And then I'm like, okay. Uh -huh. And then I rolled for how much? Oh, that's a 100. Uh-huh. And two. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Nice. In deed. Nice. Uh, but yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Gateway. Woo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody's reading the Apex's comic. Yeah. Yay! It's worth He's it. He's got a fan. I'm now somebody's side quest. <laughs> <laughs> Question appears who is the apex? Oh my god. All right. Well, thank you all for stopping by. Uh, next week will be the uh, th thrilling continuation of the Prince Division. Whoa! And then we'll, and then we'll be right Ooh. back here with more Gateway. As yeah, Dan boy! Makes our way back to Riverside, where things uh, may or not be a Bruin. But, uh, before we can get to that, we'll have to do our outros, starting with Caitlin. Where can they find you, and what are you up to? Hello. You can find me all over the internet at Boobs McBalrog. Here on Twitch, it's twitch.tv slash Boobs McBalrog with zeros instead of O's. Um, yep, still not Tribe 9 train. <laughs> still working on it. Uh, now that I know it's been announced, uh, I am going to be part of a one-shot this coming Wednesday here on this channel. Hell um, yeah. It's going to... What is it called? Digsby Fights Death? What was the event? I saw it. I saw... Now that I know it's there. Digsby the Fights Death. Yes. Uh, this Wednesday. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. March 9th from 7 to 10 p.m. PST. Um, it's going to be me, Lanny, and uh, Bracky, and Rabbit, Yay! and I don't know what's going to happen yet, but it's, it's going to be interesting. <laughs> Three-fourths of the Gateway crew. I know. Gonna Tune in. Oh, Alavest. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, but I think that's it for my brain space. <laughs> right <on. laughs> Shazam! Shazam! I'll bring us over to Rabbit. Where can they find you? And what are you up to? 
Uh, hey, uh, I'm funny. He who internet man. Hey, Mr. Rabbit. You can find me on twitch.tv slash. Hey, Mr. Rabbit. Uh, I stream, uh, I try to stream Monday through Friday. Uh, I love streaming visual novels and horror games. And I also like streaming RPGs and, uh, retro games. So if you like Yoshi's Island, you like RuneScape, Lost Ark, Elden Ring. Who doesn't love Elden Ring? It's mandatory now. Oh. Um, Indeed. just come on out. All kinds of stuff. Uh, the Evil Within, uh, Digimon, all kinds of fun stuff. It's basically a big variety grab bag of fun jelly beans when you come into my stream in the evenings. Uh, if uh, you like hearing my dumb voice on my stream and also as Alvin Bronson, you can also go ahead and hear my silly he who voice on Monday evenings on Twitch.tv slash Colonel Cheru, where I do fan dubs. Uh, I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure, which is the high school mystic, but he's really stupid. I love him. He's from Dang and Rapa. Uh, on Tuesday, you can find me on Twitch.tv slash Distortion Devil, where I go ahead and play all kinds of fun card games and whatnot with uh, Connor here. Uh, you can go and find me on Friday evenings on Twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco, where I go ahead and do wrestling announcing on Friday Night Flashbang, which is a fun wrestling stream where people go ahead and slam people. When did I play Yoshi's Island? Invisibly. And I played it like a year ago, but I love Yoshi's Island. I'll play it again. Don't threaten me. Don't threaten me with the Yoshi. Mm -hmm. uh, also, uh, also, like Caitlin said, you can find me next Wednesday on The Unexpectables. I'm going to be fighting alongside Digsby. It's going to be super fun. I am going. We're going to be. Oh, God. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Fuck, I'm so excited. God damn it. I have no words for it. Fuck, I'm excited. I'm on the bait table with the show and the thing. And the... Ooh, okay. You anyway. just can't hide it. I can't. Twitch.tv. Slash, hey, Mr. Rabbit. Funny he who, man. Come on down. Right on. Right Ooh. on, bud. Rock over London. Find... Rock on, Chicago. Times. Uh, it's America's ketchup. Mm-hmm. Lady Pretor, where can they find you? What are you up to? You can find me all over the internet at Lenny Pretor. Uh, as it has been mentioned a couple times before, yes, Digsby is coming back this Wednesday. Uh, to fight death, I guess, is what I'm hearing. He's I'll, playing I'll as the living to fight the dead. It, it <laughs> is true. Ah, uh, Digs 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 Digsby is only, I guess, like three quarters living, if you don't count the arm. But hmm. we'll, we'll, fi we'll figure it out as we go. Uh, sure, surely he'll be able to help dig his way out of this. Uh, Smooth, smooth, great transition. Uh, yeah. Uh, sorry, my leg is absolutely cramped up. I have to go do some stretches after this. Um, I'll be playing Elden Ring, and on Monday, there's the roll with me. Yeah, I, I. Oh, shit. I gotta take care of this. But thank you all. Have a good night, everybody. Yeah. Have a good night. You have a good night, bud. Ah, me. All right. And Sarah, where can they find you? And what are you up to? Uh, just Sarah with an ATM with an Ewilia. Uh, I've showed already, but uh, if you have time, please go check out Destruna on YouTube. Seriously, just search it in the YouTube bar. That will find it for you. Yee. Hee hee. Uh, and they can teehee find me uh, on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, check out Dead House Sonata, obviously. Uh, their uh, Discord is ever growing, and they just recently uh, unleashed the. Uh, the. Uh, basically, the supported fan works for Dead House Sonata. It's been uh, pretty crazy over there. Uh, they also have their tech demo, which is playable and out right now. Check that out. Uh, also check out my DMs Guild, where I release 5th edition content, including the College of Distortion Bard coming out soon. Uh, finally, you can hear me as Captain Adrian Bakunin in Ghost Runner Project Hell. Available now. No, 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 no. The uh, DLC for the hit action platformer Ghost Runner. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> that was celebrate. That was a celebratory yodel sound I made. Uh, victory I screech. <laughs> <laughs> you can harm me. I don't. I would never. <laughs> well, you have to if you want to continue the game. Ah, oh, cool. I'm gonna I, I'm gonna go ahead and call you before I do it, and then go. I'm sorry, and then <laughs> your character I'll, die. I'll call you back and just go. Ouch! Whenever you hit me. <laughs> 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 All right, here. Well, with that out of the way, our lovely sponsor for this evening's escapades that rolled very much in your favor tonight. Yeah, they did. Was Die Hard Dice. Dice! Yeah, that's, start, that's right. <laughs> yeah! Uh, die Hard Dice. Oh! Fuck oh, yeah! yeah! It's your one stop shop for dice and dice accessories. Uh huh. Uh, including, but not limited to, uh, carrying cases, folding trays, dice scrolls, all sorts of different goodies for your tabletop needs. And if you would like to go and save some money, then head on over to dieharddice.com and use the code UNEXPECTABLES! Exclamation mark. Save 10% on your order at dieharddice.com. Get you some shapes! Indeed. Mm -hmm. And with that, time to read off some bits and subs before we head out for the evening here. Gaga, gaga, gaga. Ga, ga. Hmm? Let's get going. Let's read some bitches, sir. Indeed. Uh, do, 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 do. Free haircut and lobotomy. Think over the six months. Oh, shoot. Mm. I'm not late. Yeah. Dill357. Thank you for the 17 months of Prime. Just had my first D&D session. Hope everyone is doing well. Yeah. Reasonable Rex. Thank you for the 10 bits. Alvin. I am the Cheese Lord, Therapod. Someone dares challenge my throne. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. He's the Cheese Lord? Oh, uh, yeah. He is. He is very much the Cheese Lord. Oh, cool. Alvin's going to fight a dinosaur. Check it. Excellent. <laughs> Yo, check it. Uh, Quietus Riotus, thank you for the 44 bits. Fixing a spelling error for House of Blues. Getting ready for a Shred House Errata. Love you guys. I'm not sorry. You should be. Uh, Magic Ninjago, thank you for the 50 bits. I played Super Scrabble with my family today. I managed to get plays on three of the four quadruple word scores. Whoa. Ooh. Faceless42, thank you for the 23 bits. Roundabouts are not that bad. Yes, it's a great song. Uh, Reasonable Rex, thank you for the 10 bits. Every time Alvin uses patch job, I imagine it's like the characters in SAR using duct tape to patch armor. It's literally called duct tape in that game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's 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 duct tape, but duct tape is a brand. So technically, both are correct. Talking about oh. the duck duck brand, like the green one with the duck on. Oh right? well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah, du yeah. that's duct, duct tape. tape. And duct then the silver tape. one is duct tape. Yes. For yes. back and what? Yeah. yeah. Indeed. Indeed. Magic Ninjago, thank you for the 100 bits. Finally got to see Rabbit in Alavast. Yeah. Uh, he's yeah. been in Alavast for a while, actually. Oh, yeah. Uh, and finally, 100 more bits from Magic Ninjago. Uh, hope we'll be able to watch through uh, Digsby's episodes before Wednesday. Indeed. All right, and with that, let's go off and um, what if we can raid somebody. Uh, does anybody have somebody they want to raid? Um... I see Theros on. Master uh, Rugs is on. Sour Slimes is on. Uh, Shrimps 24 7 is on. The the Shrimps is 24 on. 7. Yeah, the, it's, it's a shrimp cheese. tank. No, shrimp tank? Oh, God. Uh, is Octopimper on? 
Uh, Sioux Falls weather is on. Hmm. Uh, Theropod is on. Astute Biscuit is on. Indeed. Um. Hmm. I know the shrimps are 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 tempting, but yeah, they are pretty probably tempting. a real person. More tempting than shrimps and weather. You got two options there. You know what? I feel like we haven't raided Thero in a while, so let's go ahead and there raid him. There we go. There we go. Let's do that. Raid the cheese lord. Yes. But just so you know, shrimps two four seven. It's a great channel to sleep to. Excellent. <laughs> raid theropod art, and our raid message will be coming for your cheese. The cheese lord mm. has been challenged. <gasps> oh, oh my god! You're like gonna fight. You're gonna make them fight. I'm gonna make them fight. Indeed. All right. Thanks for stopping by, everybody. We'll see you Wednesday for the Gateway Group One Shot. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye.